I really hope this is the right one. But I don't think it is the right one. So maybe it is the right one, but let's up with this. Okay, I think we've got it now. Hi Barb. Okay, so we got it only one live, hopefully. Let me just make sure that we only have one live running. Yeah. Okay. That is good. I am freezing. Okay. Hold on, I just saw, okay. Barb, you and I are the only ones here? Where is everybody? Did I come on early? Oh shoot. I came on 10 minutes early. How did I manage that? How did I, and I have chocolate on my, I have chocolate on my lip and I'm, and I'm 10 minutes early. All right, well, how did I get in here 10 minutes early? Well, I hope that's not the reason that it went to the right stream. All right, we'll wait, we'll wait, because we said 12.45, so I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea because it's freezing here. I'm freezing. Hi, Captain Lee, hi, Cassie, Barb. Yeah, I can't believe I'm early. I don't understand that. I thought I was running late. Okay, I'll be right back. I mean, I'll write here. I can hear you and I can still talk. I'm just gonna get myself a cup of tea because we are um, like nine minutes early and and I'm freezing, so I'm just gonna, I'll be right there. Don't fear.
here, I'm here, but I was early, so I'm getting a cup of tea and loading my dishwasher. I'm done with my dishwasher, I'm just starting it. Here, but I was early, so I don't. I can't believe I was early. Hold on, I just have to start this. hands and if the tea kettle boils then I get it right. Which I think it is. I have it in my new mug for Nikki. Alright. Hang on, I'm almost ready. Almost done. steep for like three minutes I'll come back is there a lot hey I'm still early I still have three more minutes I still have three more minutes I'm still early this is crazy what happened to John Musaki why is everybody saying what happened John Musaki what happened John Musaki what happened I can't, I feel like my time has been turned back or something because I thought I was late. I looked, it was 12.32. So it took me, what was it, 12.30, 10 minutes and I finished loading my dishwasher, started it, put the tea kettle on, now the tea's steeping and I'm still two minutes early. Sold a motorcycle and parts. Hey, Shay. You sold a motorcycle and part. Yeah, that's crazy. So I was cold. I was going to make a cup of tea, and then I said, well, I'll finish loading the dishwasher. And it's 12.44. Now I'm going to go get my tea. It should be done, and I'm going to just, and I'll read it for you.
say I planted Pakistantra. What did I do? I think I told you guys that. Now I've got to have a spoon in my nice clean sink. I won't put it in the sink. I'll put it up in here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Should I get? You know what? Remember I said I had no fruit flies? Today I have a one fruit fly in the kitchen now. Can you believe it? Look at that, I'm right on time. You just think I'm late because you were here, because I was here so early. Yeah, the, the streamlabs worked. Don't tell Jimmy. Do not tell Jimmy. I restarted the computer. He's always telling me, restart your computer. He's been telling me all day. Restart your computer. I don't want to see something like that happen to you again. I hate when that happens to you. And I'm like, Mm -mm. Ellie Cattell says I have to download all this stuff and then I restarted the computer and I tried it and it worked. Don't tell him though. Okay, hi everybody. Using Newfie's mug. Alright, so... <sighs> you better not be watching. Why am I here? I know. I'm here early. I got stuff done and everything. Anyway. Um, yeah, Karen H., don't tell him. Don't tell him. No, don't tell him. Right, Rhonda. Okay. <laughs> They'll probably be watching. Then somebody will, somebody wise, some wise guy will tell him. See? I knew, see? Kevin Leonard will. I know somebody will. I have to clean my glasses. So, um, there's a little, there's some updates in that lady, Heidi Plank, who's missing, um, out in California. Something about a, fight with her boyfriend and then some stuff about her boss so we're going to take a look at a look at that stuff tonight and then there's some other woman that killed her mother and put her in a suitcase stuffed her body in a suitcase and then got on a plane and she was arrested um the minute the plane touched down and there's um another guy that killed a mother and daughter in Yonkers and then was arrested I believe it was in California it's crazy 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 hello scooter um I'm freeze it's so cold right now I don't even know don't even talk about how cold it is and Davida's always hot and I hope Davida's okay and I hope Gail B that you're okay. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope that everything's okay with your health and everything. And, um, Lacey Alice. I haven't seen Lacey Alice in a while. I hope she's okay. A few people. All right, let's, uh, let me get this going here. Because I was, after all, I was early and everything. So, today, November, yesterday was my father's birthday. Um, today is 
Heidi Plank's son's birthday and he turns 11 years old. It's pretty sad. And let's see what's going on with this. So her ex-husband says that her investment firm boss holds the key to her disappearance. Now, I just noticed that the ex-husband is like, I haven't seen him speak, but he's like really finger pointing. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe he is, maybe he's not, uh, you know, could he be a convenient person to push this off on? I don't know. So she vanished on October 17th after she left her 10 year old son's football game, which was also attended by her ex-husband, Jim Wayne. Now, Jim Wayne says their son just wants his mom home for his 11th birthday today. Okay, the answer, and this is what he says, the, the ex-husband, the answer to Heidi's whereabouts lies with her boss, Jason Sugarman. Sugarman and his business partner are being investigated for an alleged $43 million fraud scheme. The case against Sugarman is still pending, but the business partner was sentenced to prison last year. I'm just going to put a picture up here. Okay. And let's see. Jim Wayne said that he spoke with Sugarman's assistant shortly after reporting his ex-wife missing. And he could hear Sugarman in the background barking at his assistant to tell me, make sure he knows I want my laptop. What? That doesn't even, hold on. He could hear Sugarman barking at the assistant to tell him, make sure he, oh, make sure he knows I want my laptop. So he was saying to her ex husband, make sure, to the assistant, make sure he knows I want my laptop. So apparently she had his laptop, Heidi. There was no concern at all from my ex, from my ex wife's employer, he said. It's a multi million dollar company. And they didn't even offer to hire a private investigator or put a reward up. The only thing they seemed concerned about was Heidi's, oh, it was her computer, it was Heidi's computer. During a second conversation with the assistant, Wayne said the man accused Heidi of siphoning off money from the company. He called the accusation pretty low and said that Heidi had begun working for Sugarman as his personal assistant five years ago and worked her way up to bookkeeper. Heidi knows all of Jason and the company's secrets, he said. She knows where the bones are buried. This whole thing just stinks. Something just isn't right and I can't put my finger on it. Okay, now he's looking a little bad too, the boss, if he knows all this stuff, unless Jim Wayne is making this up because remember Jim Wayne said, I don't know how somebody got my name and number. He didn't say that Sugarman was in the background, but I don't know. So it was Jim Wayne that reported his ex-wife missing on October 20th when she failed to pick up their son from school as planned and her dog seven. I wonder if she named him after the Seinfeld thing with seven, who was at her who, who was with her at the football game was found on the 28th floor of a Los Angeles high rise where Jim Wayne said Plank, his ex-wife had no connection, no known connection. Now, beyond that, Okay, her dog was found, let's see here. So yeah, here's, the, on October 21st, Jim Wayne said that he got a call from someone from, okay, this is a different call. This is a different call. This is the one for, that we talked about. He, he said this call came from someone from the Security and Exchange Commission, the SEC, calling him on October 21st, questioning him about Sugarman. So this is where I feel that he's trying, that this is his, I don't know. I'm just getting, I just get a vibe that he's trying to use this somehow. I don't know. I don't know how she got my name. I don't know how she got my number, but she called me and she started asking me questions about Sugarman. He said something dirty's here. 
something's dirty here. Okay, and he also said that Heidi had gotten into an argument with her new boyfriend a week before she disappeared and that the boyfriend was not even aware that Heidi had disappeared, saying they had been in an argument the week before, so he didn't know anything about her disappearance. He thought she was just ghosting him. He had no idea. Jim Wayne said the pair had argued because... Heidi wanted the boyfriend who lived in San Francisco to visit, but he declined because of work. Despite the argument, Jim Wayne said he does not suspect the boyfriend is involved in Heidi's disappearance. I don't have any worries about him. He's a great guy. I'm no detective for sure, but he seems like a really great guy. Police have not named any suspects in Heidi's disappearance, or stated publicly whether they believe foul play is involved. So that just gets a little bit weirder. Okay, and then we're going to go to a murder for hire um, in Miss Mississippi woman. Let's, let's bring her down a little bit. Resolution. Okay. So a Mississippi woman was arrested by federal agents today for allegedly trying to hire a hitman over the internet. Oh boy. Jessica Leanne Sledge, 39 years old, has been charged with use of interstate commerce in the commission of a murder for hire. She made her first court appearance, excuse me, she was arrested on Tuesday, made her first court appearance today. And federal magistrate Keith Ball ordered her held at the Madison County Jail without bond, at least until a preliminary hearing on Monday. In urging the judge to set bail, her attorney, John Collette, argued that conditions at the Madison County Jail were less than ideal. They're less than ideal. Who would have guessed it? And that Sledge has no prior criminal history. Given the nature of the charge, this is not a charge I think it would be appropriate to let the defendant out until we have a detention hearing and a preliminary hearing, the judge said. After the hearing, Colette told a reporter that we're going to look into it and into the validity of the charges. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Sledge worked to hire an assassin to murder an individual in Mississippi, but the hitman she ultimately hired turned out to be an undercover FBI agent. The U.S. Attorney's Office did not identify the intended victim or provide any other details about the alleged plot except to say that the intended victim was never harmed. Hmm. Okay, then we've got our suitcase killer. Heather Mack arrived in the U.S. Wednesday, and she was arrested after she stepped off a plane at the Chicago O'Hara Airport. Heather Mack, 25 years old, arrived at the airport with her six-year-old daughter, Stella, but federal agents were waiting at the gate to take her into custody. The child was left with Oshar Putu Melody Swartama, a foster mother who has been raising Stella and accompanied Mack to the U.S., on Wednesday, Heather Mack and her former boyfriend, Tommy Schaefer. That's an odd coincidence, isn't that? Were each indicted for conspiracy to kill in a foreign country. A government motion filed against Mack stated that authorities were aware of Mack's decision to fly to the U.S. The United States had learned that the defendant, Heather Mack, was released from prison, prison in Indonesia on October 29, 2021, and had plans to return to Chicago, Illinois, on or about November 3, 2021. An arrest warrant has been issued for Heather Mack based upon the indictment, and the FBI intends to execute the warrant when the defendant arrives at the O'Hare Airport. 25-year-old Heather Mack was convicted in 2014 by an Indonesian court of murdering her mother, 62-year-old Sheila Von Wise Mack, 
at a five-star St. Regis Resort in Valley. Tommy Schaefer, who was 21 at the time, was also convicted of murder. Hold on here. Authorities say that Tommy Schaefer bludgeoned Von Huy's Mac with a fruit bowl, a fruit bowl, and then he and Heather Mac stuffed the woman's body into a suitcase and attempted to flee the scene only to be caught by the police soon after. Tommy Schaefer was sentenced to 18 years in prison and Heather Mac to 10 years, but Indonesian authorities released Heather Mack early for her good behavior. Okay. Shortly after being convicted, Mack gave birth to Stella in prison, who was later placed with a foster family in Bali. Heather previous told the, previously told the New York Post that she was deciding whether to bring Stella back with her to Chicago or keep her with the only family she's known in Indonesia. I am fearful and nervous of returning to Chicago. I'm not worried about the idea that people cannot understand the tragedy for my sake, but I'm nervous for my daughter, Stella. I'm scared that if she comes back to the United States with me, she will be exposed to what happened. Hmm. Heather and uh, Tommy Schaefer had previously discussed ways to kill Von Weiss Mack when they were in Chicago, considering methods such as an overdose, suffocation, or hiring a hitman. Heather wanted to be free of her mother's control, and Tommy Schaefer wanted the family's money, which he believed might be worth as much as $11 million. And here's a picture of Tommy Schaefer, who cries during the verdict of his trial in Valley and he is sentenced to 18 years in prison. Yes. Today, Heather Mack says she has no contact with Tommy Schaefer and she wants nothing to do with him. Heather also didn't get to see her daughter when the pandemic began in March of 2020 as prison visits were halted to help prevent the spread of the virus. Out of seven years in jail, the hardest part has been the last 18 months because I have not seen Stella. She was able to video call Stella three times a week from the prison phone. I'm grateful I can do that. Heather said she planned to stay with a friend after flying to Chicago. She signed over the family's money to her daughter, who will be the sole beneficiary of $1.56 million. I have learned things about myself that I didn't even know before. I like to make people laugh, and I know how to put other people before myself. I do this to the point of stupidity. I think that I am kind, and I have become a peacemaker in the jail, which is a strange thing for a murderer to say. So, what is the deal with that? So, she was arrested. I don't want her here, so I'm not exactly sure where she's going, but uh, that's very weird. Okay, and then we have not a good um, missing woman found murdered weeks after going miss getting into a car with two men at a gas station and not being seen again from again a North Carolina woman who vanished in mid-October was found dead on Thursday. Eric Bu, 42, has been charged with murdering Shamika Johnston, 28 years old, whose body was discovered 20 yards from Horn Road in Troy. On October 13th, mm -hmm. Shamika was seen getting into a truck with Eric and another man she knew at a BP gas station in Charlotte. Relatives 
say that Shamika was four months pregnant when she was reported missing on October 15th. Police eventually interviewed Eric and the other man Johnston was last seen with. Troy Police Chief James Atkins said that they zeroed in on Eric. Eric Bue was ultimately arrested in a separate case for assault with a deadly weapon and communicating threats. It was during a second interview that Eric Bue allegedly revealed where Shamika Johnson's body was. But he denied murdering Johnston and fathering her unborn child. But the police chief said that this guy, Eric Bue, has lied about a lot of aspects surrounding this case. Now, Shamika's mother, Sandra Ray, said that her daughter knew of Eric Bue, but she did not elaborate about the nature of their relationship. The police chief went on to reveal that initial findings suggest that Shamika was not pregnant when she died. However, the chief acknowledged that the victim's family believed she was pregnant and it's possible that she suffered a miscarriage. A final autopsy report for Shamika is pending. At this point, investigators cannot confirm whether a traumatic injury caused her death. Until we know more, we're treating this as a homicide, the chief said. We need to see what the facts say until we move forward. So Georgia police in Polk County are searching for a teen girl and her baby who haven't been seen in days. Chelsea Espinosa, 16, and her three-month-old daughter may have been seen on Halloween at the Goodyear Village in Rockmart, according to the Polk County police. Chelsea left home in our jurisdiction carrying clothing and supplies for her child. They posted on Facebook. Chelsea is five foot five weighs 110 pounds. The clothing she was wearing when she disappeared is unknown. Anyone with information on the pair's whereabouts should contact Detective Brady, number 816, at 678-246-5132, or email the Polk County Police Department's Facebook page. page. Well, I hope they're found. Two babies. It's crazy. Now they think someone might have tampered with that gun on the set of rust. So the attorneys representing the lead armorer on the set of rust have suggested that crew members who departed the production on the day that Helena Hutchins died may have sabotaged the prop gun involved in her fatal shooting. On October 21st, on October 21st, Actor Alec Baldwin was prepping for a scene on the Western Santa Fe set when the prop gun he was handling discharged a live round which struck Hutchins and the film director Joel Souza. Authorities are continuing to investigate the fatal incident and no charges have been filed. The production's lead armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who was in charge of prop weapons on the set, has been the subject of reports and previous safety mishaps and perceived inexperience. In a statement issued through her lawyer last week, Gutierrez Reed denied responsibility for the fatal shooting and claimed she was a victim of media slander. Okay, so it's reported that several members of the camera crew left the production on the morning of Helena Hutchins' death. Following conflicts about hours and budgeting, Camera crew members who lived in Albuquerque, an hour's drive from Santa Fe, were allegedly denied lodging even after working past midnight. In one instance, a crew member reportedly slept for hours in his car because he did not feel he could drive safely. On Wednesday, Gutierrez Reed's lawyers appeared on the Today Show, and they pointed a figure, finger at those crew members, suggesting that one or more of them may have intentionally sabotaged the prop gun. 
I believe that somebody who would do that would want to sabotage the set, want to prove a point, want to say that they're disgruntled, they're unhappy, Gutierrez Reed's attorney, Jason Bowles, told today. And we know that people have walked off the set that, that day before. We know that there was a live round in a box of dummy rounds that shouldn't have been there. We have people who have left the set, who had walked off because they were disgruntled. We have a time frame between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. approximately that day in which the firearms at times were unattended, so there was an opportunity to tamper with the scene. Alec Baldwin shared screenshots on his Instagram account of a social media post by the production's costume designer, Therese Magpale Davis, denying the crews were subject to unsafe conditions. I'm so sick of this narrative, Davis wrote in the Facebook post, which appears to have since been deleted. I worked on this movie. The story being spun of us being overworked and surrounded by unsafe, chaotic conditions is BS. Baldwin con commented, read this on his Instagram post, indicating that he agreed with Davis's comment. Baldwin was a producer as well as the lead actor on Rust. And let's see if there's any more updates on that family murder-suicide in Colorado. So we went over this the other day, a little after 10 a.m. on Friday. Deputies arrived at a residence in the 1300 block of Clear Drive in Glen Eagle, Colorado, after someone called asking for assistance. When deputies arrived, they found two children and two adults deceased. The El Paso County Major Crimes Unit detectives were called out to process the scene and found that the deceased had been identified as Christoph Kreb, 55, Yvette Siegert Kreb, 50, Felicity Kreb, 13, adopted from China, and Barrett Kreb, 9, adopted from Albania. Police believe that Christoph Kreb, a local gun shop owner at the Specialty Sports and Supply, killed all the victims before, call, before killing himself. Nine children lived in the home, including five children who were adopted from China and one child adopted from Albania. Several of the children had dwarfism, including the couple's biological 16-year-old child. She wanted her biological son to feel like he had people like him in his life, so they specifically adopted children with dwarfism, said a friend, Alexa Gromko. I was so in awe of her devotion and dedication. Christoph Kreb and his wife were U.S. Army veterans, according to another friend, Laura Muir Melini, who's acting as a representative for the family. The cause and manner of the deaths have not been released. The story continues to develop. Uh, this young man, Brendan, who's been missing. There's multiple arrests now that have been being made. Um, police continue to search for a missing teen who's vanished after visiting Michigan State University campus following a football game that led to multiple arrests. 18-year-old Brendan Santo went to the university on Friday and he never returned home. Police said Santo is not a student at MSU, but has friends who attend. He was last seen a little before midnight, leaving from Yakely Hall. MSU's football team played against the University of Michigan on the night that Santo disappeared. After receiving three, over 300 calls to police authorities, five people were arrested and 20 were given citations. Police say Michigan State's 37 to 33 victory ended in unlawful behaviors with incidents such as a vehicle being overturned and trash in an alley. Police found Santo's car blocking off a portion of a parking lot near Red Cedar River, which was where he parked it Friday. It's possible he intended to walk 
approximately a half a mile near the Brody complex, MSU police said. Brandon was last seen walking on campus, and there's no indication that he left the East Lansing area. Santo is currently a student at Grand Valley State, but he hasn't been seen returning to school. It's kind of troubling. Hope he's found. We are asking anyone who had contact with Brandon Santo on Friday, October 29th, to contact us if our investigators have not spoken to them. We are encouraging anyone who may have any information at all related to Brandon, San Brandon Santo to call or email us or speak with one of our investigators. On Monday, dive scene teams searched sections of the Red Cedar River, which is near Yakeley Hall. The investigation has included interviewing everyone who last had contact or spoke with Brendan, a review of surveillance cameras and advanced techniques, such as reviewing cellular, smartphone, and GPS data, according to the MSU police. And they said, our social media posts have reached over 300,000 people. We encourage the public to help by continuing to share information broadly. MSU police and public safety investigators will continue to utilize available resources and follow up on all related leads. Anyone with information on Santa's whereabouts should contact 844-99-MSUPD. He is five foot 10, 160 pounds, last seen wearing a black baseball cap gray joggers, a black t-shirt, and white Converse shoes. Maybe. We're all caught up on this. Oh, wait, Jimmy sent me, Jimmy sent me another crazy thing here. Let me see. So a pair of siblings and a member of the U.S. Air Force were arrested in connection with the fatal shooting of a California woman after a Halloween party. Let me get her picture up here for you. Hold on one second. So it's a love triangle suspected in the slaying. A 19-year-old woman was killed and three people, including a member of the Air Force, has been arrested. Jessica Quintanilla, 21, from Pittsburgh, faced a judge for the first time Tuesday charged with shooting and killing Leilani Beauchamp inside the home of 20-year-old Juan Para Peralta a Travis Air Force Base airman. Authorities say it's believed that Para Peralta and Quintanilla were in a romantic relationship at the time of the slaying. Hold on, I'm trying to get her. Let me just get her picture up here. Okay, this is Leilani. Leilani Beauchamp was last seen leaving a Halloween party in Sacramento early Saturday, and her body was found in Monterey County, excuse me, citing police and prosecutors. Authorities say that Leilani was fatally shot at the Fairfield home of Juan Para Peralta, a 20-year-old Travis Air Force Base airman. And 
The alleged shooter has been identified as 21-year-old Jessica Quintanilla, who is believed to have been dating Para Peralta. This appears to be a love triangle situation, the district attorney said. Quintanilla has been charged with murder. Para Peralta and Quintanilla's 27-year-old brother, Marco Quintanilla, was charged with an accessory to murder. It's just beyond what I expect from humanity, Beauchamp's grandmother, Monica Beauchamp, said about her granddaughter's killing. She did not deserve for her life to end this way. So, here's uh, Jessica, who's accused of being the shooter. And this is Para Peralta. And they say, no, where's Para Peralta? This one is Para Peralta. And then you have Quintanilla's brother, Marco, also involved in this. This is what I mean. Three people think this is yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. It's crazy. Okay, that then that is that. All right, and then Jimmy was giving me something here. What was that? Hmm. That'd be good. All right, so I think that's the end of the true crime. I'm going to put the number in the, and you can come on and talk about stuff, talk about the cases, ask questions, or anything else. Let me just hold on. Okay. All right, let me go and put this in Slack. Okay. All right. It's so cold in here. Police and tea, I'm gonna get a jacket or something. Just saw a crafter somewhere. She was doing live crafting and she was wearing like a big puffy jacket and she's like, late night Dollar Tree haul. And I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody else does a late night Dollar Tree haul? Are you kidding me? Where have you been? Okay. Scooby Don't is in here. Scooby Don't? Let's see who's here. Scooby, Scooby Don't. Leisha, Brent, Help Me Rhonda, Deborah Vancouver, and Irene F., Janae Ann, John Masaki, Katrina, Kevin Leonard, Michael. Nana Patty, hey, where's Mike been? Scooby, don't. 
Whisper to me, your kill. Where'd Scooter and everybody go? Or did Scooter never get in here tonight? I thought I saw Scooter in here tonight. Oh, there's Danielle C. Everybody just came out. Whose side is falling apart? Hi, Christy Love. What's going on? Hi, Chris Ray. Hi, Mimi. Scooby Don't is a cool guy. Scooby Don't. You're in LA. That's nice. So, what else? Um, hi, Rora Rodriguez. How are you? I'm freezing. What's going on? Hope you feel better soon. Uh oh, Captain Lee's not feeling well? Captain Lee, you're not feeling well? I hope you feel better, Captain Lee. Still love. Help me, Rhonda. Hi. So what else? Um, I was putting together some more stuff. I got to get some stuff. I don't know if we're going to try to sell some stuff tomorrow or not. I, I don't know. Oh, that's right. Hold on a minute. I have to go out tomorrow afternoon and then we said we we're going to try to do it early. It might have to be next week. It might have to be like on Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Um, you've got arthritis in your back and hips. You woke up yesterday like you were beat over. Oh, you were bent over like a... Oh, no. I hope you feel better. Hi, Orkill. Anna Patty. Whisper me. We've got a Debbie entering. I'm not sure if it's Debbie D, Debbie L, Debbie R, Debbie T. Oh, it's that. It's that Debbie. Did everybody know that it was that Debbie? I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you at all. I wonder if it's me. Maybe Jimmy shuts. Hold on. Jimmy might have shut something. Jimmy might have shut my sound. Say something now. No, you, I, I can't. Can anyone else hear Scooter? Can you guys hear Scooter? Is it just me? Can anyone hear her? Hi, Rosalita Marie. I was wondering where you were. I saw you tonight. Um, they can hear you. It's not just me. They cannot hear you. I wonder why. Uh, make sure you're off mute. 
We can't hear you, but we're starting to read your lips a little bit. Scooter is mute. Hi, Julie W. Can't hear her. We can't hear you. Check that your mic is on. I mean, you're not on mute? Huh. Interesting. Hi, Lisa, Nia, Ch Chase. Hi, you're on your phone and you're typing. Are you just peeking in? Okay. Hi, California Thunder. I don't know what's wrong with Scooter. Why can't we hear you? There's got to be something that you're on mute. No one can hear you. No one can hear you. Da -da 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 -da. See, Jimmy had me restart. He messed it all up. He messed it all up. You know what would be a fun game to play? If somebody new from the chat called in that we've never heard their voice before, and they would call in, but they wouldn't, they would make sure their name did not show up, and then we would have to guess who it was. We would just, and it's somebody we've never heard before. Like if um, somebody that's never called in, would that be fun? I mean, I'd know who it is, but we wouldn't say it to anyone. Maybe high 61. She might be trying to do that. That or we all need a miracle ear. And that could be true, too. You? You can't say, Janae. Now everybody will know it's you. Polly the primate. That sounds fun, Polly. Indeed it does, indeed it does, right? Sounds like a great idea, says Whisper to me. I can't stand to hear my own voice, says Christy Lee. I think it would be kind of fun. Hi, Video Reels. You fell for that a few years back. Endless calls afterwards. Wait, what did you fall for a few years back? I missed it, Video Reels. What are you talking about? What is Video Reels talking about? I fell for that a few years back. Endless calls afterwards. I don't know what Video Reels is talking about. Did you get my email about a murder in Tulsa? Was that the one with the the um, the woman, the woman that's missing, and the guy that was found killed? You talking about the ones that are in the horse show ring? Yeah, we went over that last night. If that's the one. Roberty Bob. Hi, Robert T. Bob. It does sound like fun, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, it does. So we can't hear you. Oh, dear. Do you want to try your phone just to see if it's your computer? Did you try just to call it on your phone to see if it's your... to see if it's your computer? You're not on your computer? Okay. Can you try your phone just to see if it's your phone or it's the Zoom? 
I can't read John Lowe's lips. Um, hi, Kevin Leonard. I called in, not from this channel, but another, and people searched who I was. Oh, gosh, we don't do that, video reels. We don't do that. We don't have a lead generating business or anything like that. We don't do stuff like that. We don't sell your information. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Hi, Amy V. Martha, start with the charades. Yeah, she should. We've always said we're going to play charades or something like that. Hello? You hear me now? Yeah. Is that your phone? No. Well, what happened? I just had to mess with um, the sound on here for some reason. I've never had to do that. Oh. It, well. said, it said to check and see if your um, phone, quote unquote, is working on here. So I did. It said test it, and now it's okay. Okay. How did you know that we could hear you? Well, because it went do 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 do. <laughs> what did it go? You know, for me to test it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it said, "Can you hear this?" Click yes, and I did, and then you heard me. Oh, okay. What did it sound like again? Do 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 do. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Irene. Oh, I haven't gosh. seen you for a while. I ran. I have to freaking talk quiet because the grandson's in bed again. Oh, again? I thought he was going to be gone for a few days. No, remember he oh. doesn't work there anymore. Oh, okay. So you got to be. He works as a carpenter now around the area. You should get him earplugs. Yeah. Yeah. But yet I put up with years of hearing him scream from his bedroom, you know, on the video games, <laughs> which he still does on his days off. He's got one of those big gaming computers and this mm -hmm. great big old microphone thing. And I know, I know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know all about that, I'm sure. Yes. Um, when I'd be in bed, we'd hear him at 4 a.m. in there screaming ah, <laughs> or laughing so hard. Yeah, yeah. Hi, hey, sorry. Christy, love. Hi, sorry, shares. How are you? You've been sick and busy. Oh, she's been sick and busy when she can. So Lisa D is having surgery. Guess what? What? She's having that hernia surgery. Hernia? Yeah, on I think it's Tuesday. Can you believe? I didn't even know she had a hernia. The third hernia surgery. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? No. I know. Third. Lisa D. Lisa D. Yeah, I talked to her. Today. I mean, I texted with her today. Oh my goodness! She's like third hernia surgery, and um, Friday she has to go for her pre-op blood work. And then I'm like, "What are you getting operated on?" She's like, "Tuesday." And I'm like, "Tuesday? Are you joking?" And she's like, "Oh no, I can't believe it. It's the third time. I can't stand it." Oh my goodness! She said she. T she's like, "I think I told you." I said. I remember you saying something about a hernia, but I didn't know you had a date set for a hernia surgery. Yeah. What is that? Is that, is that are you in right in and out with her hernia surgery? Or is that, what is that like? Huh? What is that like, hernia surgery? I didn't even know women had hernia surgery either. But, oh, no, wait, I did know women have hernia surgery because one of uh, Jimmy's, I believe, that one of the principals school she died at like 57 under the under their free thing happened that's why i was always scared to go under anesthesia you guys should have seen my brother's hernia before he had it operated on and he still has to have another one but he won't do it because he doesn't he's i don't know why but i am not joking it was a huge balloon thing Ugh. that stuck out he would have to hold on to it when he walked Ugh. So he showed me one day and I about passed out. I've never seen anything like it. Hi, Alley Cattails. 
Hi, Jennifer. Umbilical hernia surgeries, Dania. Jennifer Saka, Sukup. You've had two umbilical hernia surgeries, really? Okay, she's doing everything one week before Dave then. Hiatal hernia surgery. Oh, it's gnarly. Really? I don't know which kind of hernia. Did, did, did anybody remember what she said? Was anybody paying attention? <laughs> I just remember I said, did you get a hernia from lifting all that stuff that you're doing with Gary? That's what I you asked. might have. I yeah. I said, is, is that what happened? You're overworked? Um... Was anybody, you got a hernia a few years ago. You had to have surgery to remove a 30 centimeter tumor from your ovaries. Oh, after no, you had that. After you had that? Oh my gosh. Was it benign, the tumor? Barb? Hey, all the cattails. I still get nightmares thinking about when my brother Michael showed me that. Really? Like three years ago. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. If your belly button looks all poofy and popped out, or, or it's a hernia. It was benign. That's good. You had yes, Barb Olson. My brother's was the size of a basketball. I'm not even joking. Uh, you could see veins and everything. Oh, oh gosh. So yes. Oh, Angie's here. Hi, Angie. That's not the Angie that's back in that got locked out, right? I keep getting it mixed up. The one that uh, was the nurse that was really, really sick. I don't know. Uh, Hi, Alicia. Hi, hey, Julie W. Your tumor Alicia was the Mabu. size. Oh, her tumor was the size of a basketball. Oh, my gosh. On your Ugh. ovary? Yikes. Wow. Your sister belly is like a ball and they can't figure out why. Really, Lisa? Is she pregnant? <laughs> Hi, Christina. You had a hiatal hernia, too. Sometimes it hurts. It's like a tennis ball. I have GERD. Horrible. Why aren't I at the casino, Alicia? Oh, I'll be going. I'll probably go next week. You never know. Do you have a cold food source? No, just my stupid allergies. Oh, poor scooters. Are you Does it on the left nostril. <laughs> <laughs> A hernia so, is a rip in the stomach lining. The intestines come out on the other side of the stomach lining. Yes, it's extremely painful because it twisted in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, yay. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. The size of a basketball. How much weight did you lose when they had that, when you had that out? Because I know some lady, I'll never forget it. She told me she, I was a young kid at the time and she was talking to my mother but she said she had a fibroid removed and she said it was like a 30 pound roast beef is what she said oh she oh. lost 30 pounds she lost 30 pounds <laughs> oh. so yeah she said oh my gosh that's exactly what she said it was like a 30 pound roast beef uh. Oh, look Why'd at, you have to use that? I know roast beef? I know I don't know look Barb said she lost about 40 pounds isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, Angie, I know I look tired. I've been like this for a while. The bags and all that stuff. You know what? It might, you want to know something? What? It might be because my thyroid medicine yeah. is too high believe it or not how do you know from the blood test the blood work oh because you said she just go ahead and refilled your thing 
oh, she has been, but now I got, you know, I had to go this time. Yeah. And she said, it's too high now. She said, she's lowering me. Oh. And then I have to go back next month. How high was other... it? Was it way high? No, I take um, 137, I think. Yeah. And she's putting me down to 120, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. So maybe, I don't know. It was weird, though. I've never expected that. How long? But it's been a long time since you had to test it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it has. My doctor said it was a cyst earlier. Oh, concerned. Cindy. What happened? A fibroid looks more like liver than roast beef. Oh, Cindy B. <sighs> Is Dave home? So what, yes, can't you hear the TV? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody in the, another chat said, said, two scooter and her husband live in separate houses. <laughs> Wait, somebody in another chat? Oh, my, oh look who's here. Ooh. Anna Sweden. OMG. She hasn't been around in a long time. Anna Sweden, no. you, you've been gone for a long time, Anna Sweden. She'll say, hello, Carolyn. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Scooter. It's Hi, Anna. Anna, you're on mute You're on mute Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? I'm good. How are you? Well, you haven't been here in like 18 months. Yeah, oh, you've been yeah. gone, lady. Not that long. Well, oh. six months probably at least. I have gone through hell and back. What? But at, what least, at least you're back from hell, right? Right. Yeah. Nah, not really. I'm like in the middle somewhere. What happened? I'm it, it's complicated. It's like a whole lot of things happened. Hmm. A whole bunch of things, like one after the other, after the other, after the other. I have only been able to sleep like one and a half hour at a time. And it's just been one, one thing after the other. Yeah. And um, is it any uh, better? Is it any better? It's getting better. It's getting better. Oh, wow. Were you sick or what? I've been sick. Uh, yeah, I've been very sick. My son is very sick. Your son? Oh, with the virus? No, no, not the virus. Some, 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 something. Something. I don't know what, but something. Hmm. He doesn't know what it is? Went to the toilet a lot and just, oof, miserable. And, and, and a lot of other stuff. Can't go into it too much. Okay. Like the death in the family. My dog has to be put down and just uh, waiting for. Your dog passed away? No, he has, uh, she has to, she has to go to heaven very soon. Oh, yeah. right. That was, I think that was the last time you were here too, but you got to put it off a bit? Put it off a bit, yeah, because I thought she was uh, even better, but yeah. She has had two operations and uh, there's nothing more that can be done. I've tried everything. Yeah. Aww. Everything to save her. How old is your dog? Uh, she is soon 14. Oh, that's a, that's a long life. I know it's, I mean, it's, I know, but yeah. I mean. She's but, my friend. She's my. Yeah, she's no, my I know. Baby. She's like my baby. She's everything. Yeah, she's I know. I, I talk to her 
I mean, she's like like a human being. She understands everything I say. You know, I she's the only one I talk to. I'm a, when I'm alone. Yeah, no, I know. Well, what kind of dog is she, Anna? A poodle. A poodle. Oh. Very intelligent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have had papi papillions uh, uh -huh. before, but um, I bought a poodle, and I am so glad because she doesn't shed anything, uh -huh. and she's. She's like she don't like strangers. She's she's not running up to strangers and licking them like the papillions. When I had papillions, uh, they were here everywhere, and I was itching my nose all the time. But I had no problem with her. She doesn't shed any hair at all, and she's so clever. Aww. And she knows when I'm sick. It's incredible. See, see um, I was screaming. I, I was in excruciating pain in the bathroom, on the toilet. And she never comes in the toilet. She, she sits outside the door. And she came in the toilet. I was like, oh, I was moaning in pain. And I... I could not go off the toilet to call for an ambulance. And she came and she sat on my feet, on my toes. And, oh my gosh. You know, she's sick too, but she came and sat on I'm my sorry, toes. I'm not laughing at you, Anna. I'm not laughing. And Anna T said something, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know you're not laughing. Yeah, no, I'm not laughing. She's reading something. I read something and it was just so ridiculous that, um, it was so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay. It is so hilarious. ridiculous. Oh my gosh, okay. But okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, Anna. Yeah, sorry about that, Anna. But maybe in time, you know, like, she's still here. Enjoy every day with her and then, um, you know, in yes, time. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I miss, I miss all of you so much. So I, I, had to call in. Yeah, we missed you too. We've been asking for you, and yeah, yeah. we've been wondering. Yeah, I, I'm. I usually am. I'm going up to, to sleep a little bit when you start. I I can't keep my eyes. I when you start, I I sit double, mm -hmm. and, and I just I have to go because I'm giving her medicine every other hour. And uh, I just, but now I could get a little bit of sleep this night. I got four hours. So I think I thought I better call in to let everybody know that I'm, I'm here. I'm okay. So, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Cause we were, have been wondering. Yes. Yeah. I've missed you so much. I missed everybody. Yeah. We've missed you too. I'm glad you came back and I hope that your dog, you know, is okay and you know, yeah, it's okay. a, I'm trying, trying, trying to see if um, at least she can be with us during Christmas. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Aiming for that, aiming for that, but she, she shouldn't be in any pain. Right. Because she has pain medicines and uh, and the veterinarian said uh, it's just a temporary situation and we have to let her go. But uh, my son is always saying, uh, can we talk about it tomorrow? Can we talk about it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And it's so always tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. I call him and say, you, you need to come, you need to come, you need to... We need to do something. This is unbearable for me to, and her, we, I have to wake up every other hour to give her medicines and I'm just exhausted, exhausted of everything that has happened. I had a terrible loss of, um, in my family, close family, that they lost their child. Oh gosh, sorry. 
the little boy, the little boy. Wow. And uh, you know, it's just been piling up, and I'm I'm so exhausted, both physically and mentally. Mm-hmm. But I just I can't watch anything for more, for more than five minutes. Then you know, every like crimes and stuff. When you take in everything, mm-hmm. it's too much. Yeah. I, Yes, gets too much, and I just I can't handle it. And I I have to shut shut it all down. Just pretend that nothing, everything is good. Then you know, it was so I was so happy when they found Cleo. Oh God. yeah, that was so nice, right? Yeah, that was oh my gosh, I got goosebumps. I wish every case was a happy ending. But unfortunately, there are so much uh, horrific things in the world. There are, yeah, there are. Lots of, lots of, um, lots of stuff here going on, but, uh, got a troll in here. Uh, yeah, yeah. no, but I, I, maybe your dog will rally, you don't know. You know, sometimes they can... Uh, I don't understand rally. Oh, uh, like, you know, make a little recovery even for a short time. Yeah. Start to do better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, really, yeah, just enjoy the time you have and then, like. uh, Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm photographing or taking videos and. Mm hmm. That's a long. I mean, Zoe passed away at nine. You know, um, and Delilah at ten, at 10, so well, she's a big dog, the American Bulldogs are. But yes. the little dogs at eight, nine is like, you know, young for her and was out of nowhere. How um, is it like when she's gone, it's like an empty, like... Well, um... Yeah, well, she died in my arms, so, you know, it was like... Oh, my But, gosh. you know, like, like your dog, you know, we knew she was sick, right, you know, and... But I kept thinking she would she would get better. We'd find something. There was going to be something, and then you know, it's sad. It's very sad. Yes. I'm gonna be with her till the end. Mm-hmm. Till the end, then hold her and. Yeah. Yeah. Taking care of me, and I'm gonna be with her. Yeah, and I mean it. It depends. It's, it always helps us, you know, to get because you have all that love for the pet, and you know. To find another uh, little dog, if the, if that you know, some people wait a long time. Other people, you know, have to um, just give that love to you know, like to another little animal, and that's and that's. Fine I recommend too. getting one right away, Anna. Yeah, I mean, if you're by yourself and everything like that, I would say you know, don't let it make you feel bad because I know some people actually. They actually feel bad, like oh gosh, if I get another dog, but I think your dog would want you to have someone. Out, you know, another dog. Mm, yes. You know, not to be alone. I, I know. I know she's gonna be with me anyways because I see my, I see my uh, other dogs here, now and then. Right. Yeah. Uh, I can see them. Um, yeah, because it's never, it's never gonna replace. You know, it doesn't replace them, and it doesn't. But it's like, I don't know. It just helps. He- Animals, you know how they are. They help can help heal you from the one loss of one. Right. And you'll keep uh, another animal could use that love, Anna. Mm-hmm. No, but she's so special. I feel like I can never get anyone like her. I know. Again. I know. Maybe oh, maybe maybe up. she'll maybe she'll send you you know a special. Uh, She's Definitely. looking at me with those big brown eyes, like, what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love you. Right. I love right. you. I love I you understand. so much. Yes, I love you so much. Yes. She's kissing me. <laughs> She's looking yeah. at me like, what are you talking for language? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, uh, love. Right today with pets. Christy said, I read today, being with pets when they pass is the best and the most important thing you can do. 
Yes. Well, that's what I still regret that Bruiser, you know, our male Chihuahua, yeah. was in the uh, vet hospital when he passed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I've but had I mean, some, there was nothing I could yeah, do. Yeah, we've had some like that, and we, yeah. And, yeah. Is there any uplifting stories other than Cleo? Oh, uplifting stories? Uh, well, Cleo's an uplifting one. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Anna, my one, one of my chihuahuas, my oldest, she's going to be 16 next month. And she's going, you know, potty all over, drip, drip, dribbling and stuff. Yep. But what can you do, right? Well, it's the same here with her. So it probably won't be much longer for her, you know? No. And I still have two. Knock on wood. Wait, is, no. that, is that the mother of them? She's the mother of Tinkerbell. She's not the mother of uh, Minnie, the apple hedge chocolate, long hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got her in Illinois. And she's still the redheaded stepchild. Yeah. That's the way Peanut treats her. Yeah. And she's still cleaning Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is, and Minnie are both, what, 13 now well, or they, something? Well, they always clean each other's ears, don't they? Chihuahua, yeah, but they Chihuahua never do it to many. Little Minnie never gets it. Oh, they never it. do it to many. No, oh. it's always Mick Peanut doing it to Tinker. And she doesn't want Minnie messing around with her or Tinker or Tinker Bell. Oh wow! You'd think she'd get over it by now, you know? Yeah. But no, I mean she's good to her. Otherwise, you know, like if she knows she's part of their pack, mm -hmm. so she will defend her. But that's about it. She always, Minnie always gets blamed for everything by Peanut. Yeah. And Tinkerbell is just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bruiser was uh, Tinkerbell's dad, father. Bruiser was Tinkerbell's father, okay. Uh, mommy. Yeah. yeah. I saw a few minutes of last life yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, guy there, he, he looks so... I've seen him somewhere else, but I can't face him. Which guy? Um, a guy that was sitting on the panel and I feel like I've oh, seen him. Oh, yeah, he's been on the, the what is it, my 600 pound life? Right, yeah. Steven. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I remember. Did you watch his episodes, Anna? Yes, I've seen a few. Yeah. I, he looks so. I've seen him somewhere, but I couldn't place him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How come he. How yes, come he. Can... He's, yes, he was on Hold on, I'd have to kiss Dave goodnight. Okay. He's on TLC's uh, My 600 Pound Life, Gally Cat Tales. How, how, why was he here? Wouldn't you want to be here? Doesn't everybody want to be here, Anna? No, I mean, um, has he <laughs> been in the oh, I mean, has he been in the sets? Uh, we're, the, we're the place to be, Anna. Yeah, I know. I was just a waffle. Uh, if it, I yeah, don't. he was on a long waiting list to be here, but he's been here. He's, that, that's like, I don't know, fifth or sixth appearance here. Really? Mm -hmm. I've been missing a lot. You have been, yes. Yep. Yep. I, I'm sorry it, didn't mean, it came out wrong. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking with you. Yeah. yeah. It came out totally wrong. <laughs> oh, the language barrier, oh, you know. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck is he doing here? Yeah, what is he doing here? <laughs> what did he come here for? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, no, but yeah, no. Scooter knew I knew him, you know. Um, oh, okay. And okay. she watched the episodes and stuff. I haven't wa I haven't been able to. I'm gonna try to catch up and watch them. Uh, um, American humor. We live by it. Yeah, right. Video real. That's some long kiss for Scooter and Dave, huh? I think that might be a little more than that. <laughs> oh, how good. You're back. Yeah, Julie is funny. Martha, yes, yeah, some long kiss. Crazy. It sure is, Barb. I think it's turned into something else. Maybe she had some pheromones on her or something. can tell her that we we heard everything we heard everything yeah back again do I need to block my ears no probably I don't know we're just cheese went to kiss Dave goodnight about 30 minutes ago scooters tires are on fire lawyers stealing all of our <laughs> um and I had, darn it, I had to ask Scooter something. Um, Where's Mike? Mike, Mike. Have you seen Mike? Maybe, you, have, were you ever here when Mike came in, Anna? No. Hmm. Where is Mike? Oh, yeah, where is he? Mike, where are you? Alley Cat Tales. Garnet saying happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Wait, it's Alley Cat Tales' birthday? birthday? Yeah. Is happy it? Happy birthday, your Alley Cat Tales. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Say, wave to her. Come on now. Wave. She's Be a nice kitty. She's such a sweet little Show thing. Them Look sweet. at her. She's so sweet. Look at that. Little sweetie. No bite, baby. No bite, no baby. Bite. Oh Ouch. my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> no scratch, baby. Be nice. Garnet. I think he needs I, I, think, I think Garnet needs a trip down to Moo's house. <laughs> she is getting better though, guys. With bitey cat. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna hopefully she can get fixed, you know, when Dave has his surgery. Oh, at the same time? Well, not the <laughs> same day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if yeah, they messed up? <laughs> oh my gosh. I like you, Allie Cattails. Is it really your birthday, Allie Cattails? I didn't know it was your birthday. Happy Burn birthday. It. Happy, happy Be nice, birthday. baby. Be nice, baby. Does she, does she break your skin? Sometimes. She's not right now. No, I just have these gaping wounds stop. all over here. Um, Baby, stop Oh, that's now. right. November 3rd. That's right. You told me. November oh. 3rd. Right. Okay. Stop. Yeah, I'm losing I'm losing my mind a little nice. bit. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alicatails. Say, I'm nice. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone a birthday the 14th of November? Does anybody have a birthday on the 14th of November? Be nice now, baby girl. Anyone? 14th of November? Show them how nice you are, for real. You're not like that.
<laughs> Did you ever give her catnip? Oh, heck no. Oh, but Why? Like, but maybe it might calm her down or something, isn't it? You think so? I don't know. Probably had catnip running in her blood. Oh, I lied. She did break a little bit. Her, just her nails. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Tell well, loving that cat, California. Though. That's the <laughs> first. That's the first Here item. She, that's the first item she's selling in the <laughs> the, the, the Rambler's rummage sale. Darn it. She's very Darn lovely. It. She can baby. be shipped to you if you pay for the shipping, and uh, she's such a sweetie. She's such a sweetie. Darn it! Stop it now. She's, Darn it, she's, Marie she's, Michelle. She's, she's very sweet. Oh, oh, it just, oh she just she just she just looks a little precious. She's really very. She's sweet. not usually like that, guys. Can you get your bids in if you can send them to two scooter chick <laughs> at gmail dot com? You can send in your bid, and she'll look at them. Hi, Lisa. Hi, hi, Anna. How are you? Oh, cat. I'm no, okay. no. Whisper to me. He says, forget yeah. the catnip. It'll make her more crazy. I thought it calmed That's him down. That's what I thought. I yes, thought they I calmed him too. down like Stop THX. It. You know, I used to have something they used to send me every month. They wanted me to review this thing. It was something you plugged Stop. in, and it was a certain pheromone or something that calmed your animals down, <laughs> cats or dogs, and it calmed them down. Really? Yes. Yeah. I feli way. You mean the feli way? Maybe that's what it was, but it was for dogs. Yeah, well, a diffuser? Like, Are you talking about yeah, a diffuser? Yeah, it was like something. They used yes. to send it to me all the time with my blog. And yes, I got them. Yeah, did it But help? it turned out I, I had a more instinct of what was wrong with my cat. Yes. He had, like, bladder cancer and died, but, you know, oh. we kept him comfortable, but we didn't. they didn't figure out. I knew there was something wrong, like, in January or February, and they didn't. we didn't put him to sleep until June. He kept trying to use the litter box, and they thought he was just anxious and nervous, and he wasn't. Mm. So, hello, everyone in chat. Love you. But believe it or not, she is. She wants to be with us. She follows us. We go in the bedroom. She's right there, Jumps, gets under the bed, and then she jumps out at you. And sometimes she, does, she doesn't bite. I mean, do that. Like if I'm going to the bathroom. Like I told you before, she will jump up behind me on the toilet seat, just sitting there. And then she's purring and rubbing against me when uh, I have my feet on, you know, the floor in there. And she can be super sweet. Oh, well, Scooby Don't says it's the Feel Away plugins and they work. They probably do. I mean, I didn't really have them ride a cat, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't calm down. I had a couple of things. feral cats, but, you know, one lost his feral cat in 2007, I think, when we had all that pet scare of the food. I started making ch homemade chicken and rice and all this vegetables, whatever, for the cats. And yeah. he rubbed up against me, you know, while I was doing the chicken. And his name was Luke. And then uh, my other cat, Carter, um, that was his brother. He never really lost his feral card. They were uh, the ones that... He'd were, blink his eyes like he loved me and everything, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Alicia B. So don't forget, I'll bring her up there the to ones, you in January, Buffalo, New York. <laughs> the ones that they sent, <laughs> the ones that they sent me were from um, Comfort Zone. I wish I knew where they were, but I think they. I yeah. I've never used them, but. Another um, new mark. Some some people have are asking if uh, November 14 is my birthday. No, it's not my birthday. My birthday is in February. I'm in the sign of Pisces. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my son's birthday, the oh. 14th of November. Oh, okay. Your son's and birthday? All, and all of his cousins have birthdays in November. Oh. It's everybody, November, 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 my cousins oh. in the states. Lexi. Do I have I a chicken noodle soup? What they do? My grandmother's was yeah. November 11th birthday. Stop it. Stop it. And I think my grandfather's was in the November too. Did, yeah. I, did you say, really? Okay. My great grandfather's birthday was on. July 1st, my mother's birthday was on July 7th, and my birthday is on July 8th, or July 30th. It's really weird. And my great, and my other grandfather is born, I was born on his birthday, July 30th, on my father's side. Mm 
Hmm. So, yeah. I have a lot of July babies. I have to lift her up in the sofa. She can't be on anymore. Thank you, Karen Aids. I will pass it on to my son. You just have to be careful about, um, if you have chicken noodle soup, make sure there's nothing onion in it, like spices or anything, because it's not good for cats, I don't believe. I think onions are bad for them. I wouldn't even use onion powder. But maybe they don't, a lot of them probably don't have that. I don't know. Well, that's for, like, dogs, too, and I never understood that onions, you know, because like, our dogs ate, like, mm -hmm. onions that were in things. Onions are in so right, many different things. Right. I really, I still don't get that. Thing. Carolyn, the same thing with chocolate. My dog, my poodle, when I was young, always had chocolate. Oh, we had a basset. Never thing. told yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I know. You know, not like excessively, but if I was having a candy bar or a cookie, uh -huh. she'd have a little, you know, bite. Mm, we had one that ate a lot. My sister's dog ate a lot, too, and nothing ever happened. <laughs> Um, no. But somebody said it's more like dark chocolate that like very high oh, concentrations. Okay. But I know that's like all chocolate is no no now. And I'll never forget yeah. this guy that I worked with once. He's like, blah 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 blah. And the only thing that ever hurt this dog was chocolate. And I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. And he was talking about like drain removal, like all this stuff, all this crazy stuff. And then it was like, oh, yeah, I'm not a vet, so I don't know. I wouldn't. I ever don't know either. But I meant anything to anyone. <laughs> My I I if I did, it would be my opinion, not the not a bet. From my Irish terrier, he oh. ate the whole box of chocolate, and we have a contestant. A very long time. Ooh, we're gonna have a contestant in the voice game. Yay! What the voice game? All right. What voice game? I don't know what that means. Okay, well, someone that's never called in is going to call, and we're going to oh. have to guess who it is. Oh, that's cool. When? Right in the, the, now. Oh, Lisa, get with the program, sale tomorrow? please. Lisa. Are you having your sale tomorrow or no, Carolyn? Get, no. She, I think you're waiting until next week, aren't you? <laughs> <It's gonna laughs> no. I thought that's what you said. No. Oh. Right. She was so violent about that. No. no we're just I was just trying to talk. Next week. It's kind of like, you better be waiting till next week, right, Carolyn? No, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just saying... Get with the program, girl. <laughs> oh, really? I, well, now. I, well, I, you, you did miss it because I did say that. Oh, like maybe I was going to do like a, a test kind of sale, but then um, uh, Jimmy has me going out to look at a truck tomorrow. So I don't know what time. You know, we. I don't know. We'll see. I, you know, I, but probably it's going to be. Um, I don't know next week or something. I don't know because we have to get everybody on board. Everybody's got yeah. To get I know on board. it's a, it's a it's a process, you know. Yeah. It's a yeah. You can't just throw it. I don't think right. Together. You can't say, oh, we're gonna have a sale, and then go, oh, I can't make it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So we got to like the craft. Yeah. We've got to yeah <laughs> advertise it, and then you know really get it going and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Every good thing. Can I please ask one question? Yes. Thank you. I have been wondering about this for weeks now. It's so crazy. What the, when people are born on the 29th of February, and they only have birthday every fourth year. They're lucky they stay younger longer. <laughs> what uh, in the States, um, what, what do you, do they celebrate the twenty eighth? No, they like would the no. system, you know. Or... No, they would just celebrate on the first, because that would really be the day yeah. after the twenty eighth. Okay. But then so, there's others that decide that they're just going to be younger. I mean, I am not specifically talking about the people. I'm talking about the government. You know. Um, like the papers. Um, well, but you know, the papers would be the 29th because that's when they're born. And then if they, if the next, if it was the next year after the 28th, it's going to, they are going to be born on March 1st. Yeah, no, but, the uh, okay. I can't explain it. Okay. Yeah, because that would be their birthday. 
I was just wondering if the computers say you are like oh yes, no, I, I, it, yeah. it'll register that they are. Yeah, I know it, but it'll register like probably March first that they're another oh. year older. I'm sure. Is anybody here in the chat okay. born on leap year? My cousin was, but I don't remember what they did, like uh -huh. how they celebrated it or when. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But they were the type of people, or they are the type of people, that when there's a birthday, we always celebrated on the day. But the, my dad's side usually celebrates it on a weekend when everybody's off. But see, we... That did for us. That on my mom's side, it just that didn't cut it. We like to celebrate on your birthday. So, oh. hmm. so we're waiting for our mystery caller. Mystery caller, your number is in the mail. Are, are, have they agreed to wanting to call in? Mm-hmm. I said they want to be the oh, first okay. one to call on the game. Yes. Mystery caller. It's the mystery caller. Let's see. Your son was born on February 28th. Well, that's good. Kaya heart name wise. We're waiting for our mystery caller. So our mystery caller is going to be someone that's in the chat that we've never heard and you have to guess who it is. Hi American girl. Drum roll please. Let me just make sure the caller has like the number and stuff and that there's nothing. Oh wait, the caller is calling. Hold on. I mean, the, hold on. Um, caller, you just call any of those numbers. Call any one of those numbers. Call the one in New York. It doesn't matter. Just call. Call me. Well, I talked to my therapist today and I got a, she told me that I have major depressive disorder and really well, kind of, well, I already knew all this, so, but yeah. And that was the one you met with a, um, a Zoom chat? No, we're, we're doing telehealth right now over the phone. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. over the phone. She doesn't even see you? No, she said we'll work into that gradually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there a reason? Like, do you not want to do it? I don't know. You know, oh. I do eventually. Yeah. Oh, because that's the only way I, I like. I do it. I, I don't know. She called this afternoon, and I was half. I wasn't even awake, and I went to the phone. She said, "Oh my gosh, do you want to reschedule this?" I said, "No, I don't. I'm fine. I can go right back to sleep." <laughs> I couldn't sleep until late this morning, so. Hmm. And, then, and then I thought, well, why am I so tired? And then I said, oh, I've only had five hours of sleep. She even said that there are some people that need 12 to 14 hours of sleep, and there's nothing wrong with that. She said, you have to, you fall into that category, basically. Hmm. So. She said she only does, like you, four to six, and she's yeah. fine. Fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. She goes into a deep sleep, and I don't, and that's the difference, I guess. Caller, are you okay? Are they here yet, or well, no? They, they, got, they got a little bit stressed with all the numbers. Just call any number. Just call the one for New York, or just click the link, and you might have to download the Zoom app. Um, you just do it. Very exciting. Yeah.
very exciting. I'm so excited. Yeah, it could be Kevin, but I don't think so. I, she said it's sleep apnea, it's the nightmares, it's a lot of, and I've always been that way since I was a teenager, and it is the hours probably too. We we tend to be tired, but was Kevin Leonard there uh, called? Kevin Leonard is here. Yes. I mean, has he been on a panel? Because I don't think no. I've ever seen. No. Kevin, yeah. it's, Kevin's in the, in the witness protection program. Thank you, Kevin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. I'm Kevin, call him. No, I'm the only one that's ever heard his voice. Call him Kevin. Oh, he won't let you hear it. With all these murders I've read about so far. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it's... it's it's pretty bad there. Hi, Lisa Thomas. How are you? Who is Carmen? Carmen San Diego? Um, <laughs> no, cause she means my friend Carmen from Long Island that came up to do the crafting. Oh. Weren't you there? No, don't no. think so. Oh. oh, of course, it was you. No, it was my friend Carmen. No, it wasn't. It was you making that voice. No, it was my friend Carmen. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. Irene enough. I'm sorry. Yes, I, yeah, I have quite a bit going on. Anxiety and yeah, it's just I don't like to go out at all, and I have to go down to Albany next Tuesday for my. SSI. You, you don't like to go out. I thought you liked to go out. No, not really. Not anymore. You not went anymore. out. You went out to see. Now you went out trick or treating for five hours. I did, but that was like I could. I didn't have to see. I was behind a mask. Oh. Okay. I didn't have to like greet people, and they didn't know who I was. Okay. Now we have yeah. our mystery caller. I'm just going to. Oh, good. 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 I'm just going to put it here just to make sure our mystery caller. Does it have his name? Hello. Is that our mystery caller? Got to turn your hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Are you are you our mystery caller? Yes. Okay. Um, you have your YouTube on in the background. Oh, okay. Hold on. That's my TV. Okay. Oh no! Look, it might be one. Okay. Is that Yeah. look at Kevin's comment. Yes. No video reel. I haven't yet. I think I know who this is. Can I guess? Is it high 61? Uh, I was just going to say that, Lisa. Well, so, uh, sorry. Are you high? Jeez. Are you high 61? Who? Are you high 61? No. Nope. Kevin Leonard? No. Nope. Huh? Are you Kevin Leonard? No. Nope. I mean, how many guests did y'all get? I don't know. <laughs> you only got a few men in there. <laughs> Which know. person is Michael? Is it Michael? <laughs> Are you Michael? Who? Michael? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> That's three guesses. You're all out. No your friend. Your Scooter. friend. Scooter Who? got it. Scooter got it. <laughs> Who? Brent. Brent. Oh, Brent. Well, oh, damn. I mean, the only guy. I mean, I'm like the only person that's left. Shit. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, man, it was an act of Congress, man, to try to get on here. Passwords, all type of things. We were. We run a tight ship. <laughs> huh? We run a tight ship here. You're lucky you got away. You got yeah. away nice, Brent, yeah. because you didn't have to get it. It's probably easy to get in touch with the president. Yeah. It's probably easy to get in touch with the damn president. Probably. Scooter's got oh. Scooter has an in with the White House anyway. So what did the winner win? Well, nobody really won because she's four, yeah. four tries. 
when none of us won. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, yeah Debbie, you know, it's she different. Can't win. There's only well, like Deborah, five guys. Deborah can't play. No, she can't play. And Deborah, she can't play. You can't play. Because she wins every week. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. She is like, I'm disqualified. She's always the top <laughs> chatter. I can check again, and I know she'll be the top chatter. Watch. She will oh, be. Oh, yeah. Huh. I've been on here for about two months, and I never saw anybody. That's a conspiracy. Well, uh, no. <laughs> Kevin used to be, and then Danielle C, and then Deborah Vancouver didn't got it, and she's never let it go. She sure didn't. <laughs> I think she's paying you, mama. <laughs> Probably. What is that yeah. good night thought? All right, y'all. Well, y'all have fun. Y'all well, have a good day. Thanks for calling in. Thanks for calling in, All right. Grant. Thank you. All right, Bree. All right. Take it easy. Oh, Sounds Deborah like nice Vancouver then got it first, I think. Well, Deborah Vancouver then wins everything, so they said yeah. she, can't, she can't win it. He sounds like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Deborah Vancouver then is still the top chatter. Do you want to know who the red, the others are? Yes. It's not me. Well, <laughs> hold on. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Deborah Vancouver in. Kevin Leonard is number two. Danielle is number three. Dean Elizabeth is four. California Thunder is five. LMNW50 is six. Alicia Bisso is seven. Help Me Rond is eight. Nana Patty's nine. Mike, you're ten. Eleven, Whisper to Me. Twelve, York Hill. Tammy McDee is thirteen. Jeanette, fourteen. Lisa H, fifteen. Tracy. Are you kidding? No. Do you, what do you mean by that? Are you special? Well, because I'm on panel, I'm usually not in, not always in the oh, chat. Okay. Fifteen is Lisa H. Sixteen is Tracy Kloss. Brent Lavier is seventeen. Robbie Bob is eighteen. Heartmate Wise is nineteen. Henny's number one fan is twenty. Hold on. Michael is twenty one. Nurse of All Trades nineteen ninety seven is twenty two. Mimi F is 23, Linda Gelb is 24, and Barb Olson brings it home at 25. Nice. Nice. Mm hmm Yep. It's funny how you call in now all the time, Lisa, when you never would before, you know? I know. I enjoy it. I really do. I love everyone. I took a personality test tonight. You did? Uh-huh. It said that I was very empathetic and uh, liked that I put others before myself. And it is true. I do pets and or animals and people. I, you know, I try to help out. And it was pretty spot on. I had to answer everything truthfully. And <laughs> You should give it to all of us. Was it with your doctor or you took it by yourself? No, I did it by myself. It was, uh, oh, let me go see. I saved my outcome of what, what it was. Um yeah, it was, it was on Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo had a link. Let's see what it was. Mm. Okay, Danielle. <laughs> no, I just think it's it's neat because she never would before. What did she say? She said, yeah, Scooter, don't be jealous of Lisa H. that she calls oh. in LMAO. <laughs> it was the big five personality test. Okay. Openness, conscientious, ext extroversion, or whatever you call it, agreeableness, and neurotic neuroticism. Mm -hmm. you, can you give us the test, or you don't have the questions anymore since you did it? No, I don't have the questions. Yeah. Plus, plus, they, plus, you know, they do ha they do tell you like one of your traits, but then they say you you know, do you want to buy the rest? No, I'm not going to buy the rest of it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The question, then they want you to buy the answers, but you, they do give you a lot of information about yourself. But mm -hmm. but I don't want to unlock my report and pay twenty dollars just to see. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I have a big five test right here. Is this the one? Let me see. Snow remover. But 
You, it, but you have to be really be online because you slide the thing. Oh no, mine wasn't sliding. You just put a little inaccurate and neutral, and there were a couple in between those, and then accurate, inaccurate, neutral, accurate. Like you know, hmm. questions. Quite a few. It's it was cool. I kind of like taking some of those quizzes. I love taking the quizzes of things like the pictures. What do you see when you first look at it? And I think those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Captain Lee Fan. Mary Tackett. Lisa Nia Chase. LMNW50 and a heart made wise, California Thunder. It says you have a highly creative and imaginative way of thinking and you often see connections that others do not. You are uninterested in the dull facts of a situation, preferring instead to interpret its meaning and implications. You have unusual ideas and sometimes perceive things that others are not aware of. You are easily absorbed by fantasy and enjoy envisioning alternative realities as well as possibilities for the future. You tend to spend a lot of time thinking about the needs and experiences of others. And you're a highly emp empathetic person. That sounds like me. Yeah. But it, also, my thinking is often disturbed by unpleasant thoughts, and you may have trouble focusing. You may be troubled by anxiety and feelings of unworthiness, which make it difficult to difficulty to think clearly you are a high, highly sympathetic and altruistic person who values kindness and compassion above all else you have a general genuine love of ideas and value um originality creativity imagination and yeah it, it was cool it was cool because it kind of really did describe me <laughs> all right yeah it's amazing how they can figure that out, isn't it? By just answering. It is. Yeah. It really is just by a few questions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is it all spot on, Lisa? Yeah, it, for me it was, yeah. It, because it sounds exactly like me. Oh, that's cool, Anna. Yeah, I can see both of you being that way. Yeah, Alley Cats, it's pretty interesting. Yep. What hole have you gone down, Carolyn? Well, I'm just taking the, this test here. Oh, this is a rabbit hole. This is going through the rabbit hole. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> LMNW says ninety nine nine ninety nine for bacon. I can't believe that. I know. Uh, I like that Oscar Mayer, uh, the center cut. Oh yeah, you know? and it's just getting so darn high. The prices have rise, risen has so hugely on food and gas and everything. Crazy. Oh, somebody said, well, I saw a video today or something. They were like, the things you should be stockpiling or something. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. No. This is so crazy. It is. In October, of 2019 I wrote and I took a picture of it on my whiteboard and I wrote stuff up on and I made a list canned food toilet papers and like a whole list on up like 40 items to stockpile on mm -hmm. in October of 2019 I have a picture to prove it 
and and everything and I sent it to my son and I, I think I posted it on Facebook because um, I knew something was going to happen. I was freaking out in October and November of 2019. I thought the World War III was going to happen. I knew something terrible was going to happen. And mm -hmm. I was always telling everybody, please stock up on canned food with long, um, that lasts a long time and, and stuff like that. Nobody, everybody was like, what can, there's nothing. No, you're just being crazy. And oh. and then the, this COVID hit, and I was like, yeah. thank God it's not the World War Three because I right. was preparing for World War Three. Yeah, thank goodness it's not. How um, I wonder how Davida's daughter is doing. Family. Did anybody hear from Davida? No. No. Mm. I was wondering about no. her, her daughter. I know. And family. Mhm. Mm I wonder how it's going. I wish she could come in, but she's probably just, you know, I know how it is when you're worried. Sometimes you just can't share. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I wonder if she, she, yeah, she, she may be she had some videos tired, coming, you know, she's got to go to work tomorrow. Out. Well, oh, she does, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has to go to work tomorrow. And, um. When was that, Danielle? What? She said to be to ask for prayers for her and her family. I mean, was it in general? Because I think I saw it. But yeah, pr continued prayers for her. Yeah, of definitely. And her family and her daughter. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. It said that I would when people were feeling bad that I was the type of person that could feel just what they were feeling, you know, and some people just say, Oh, that's too bad. And you actually really feel it and you get depressed because you know, it's oh, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. I wish yeah. you like my therapist asked today, why do you like staying up at night? I said, well, I always felt like the world was, or at least the United States, it was dark. People were at peace and you know, mm -hmm. That's that's the reason why I just have always been that way. I just feel more at rest, like I feel more, I don't know, I feel better at night. I don't feel good in the daytime. Huh. Hmm. I have to look at something here. I wonder what... So I know I'm, I'm, I wanted to uh, congratulate you, Scooter. About what? Why? That I can't believe your OnlyFans has a lot. What did they, What did you get? Like two thousand more followers today? Yes, yes. That's amazing. Isn't it? I'm not even on that. Whatever that is. Yeah. Well, oh, thanks, Lisa. I wanted you to. Well, I it, I think it's something dirty. It probably well, is it not does, right. It doesn't it's... have. Some people use it dirty, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, really? Seriously? You're, you're being serious now? I am being serious. It doesn't have to be dirty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mine isn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some people use it as that, but it's not, you know, there's a lot of people that don't. I mean, it's just private. Like, you know, it's different. So it's like, it's only your fans. So on YouTube, like anybody could watch you, even if you have them blocked and stuff. But only fans, only your fans can watch you. Uh-huh. So, you know. Rub a dub dub, says Danielle. You really do? Are you really over there? Um, She's doing really well over there. Really? Lisa. Come on, Lisa. No, seriously. I'm I'm being serious. I don't know what it is. She'll tell you about it later. It's nice. Maybe yeah, I'll have, have to tell you in private. Yeah, that would be nice. Because I don't want certain she people want certain that people. may be listening. Right, to have right. It, That's you know fine. what I mean? Yeah. I would be there if I knew about, you know. I'm going to send it, it to you right now on, uh, your, on, uh, uh, you know, Slack. Kevin, that's okay. the way I feel. Yeah, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. 
Are those 20, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters is how much? 20, 8 by 8, 8 by 8 inches. Okay, so that's not that great. 8 by 8. Where's Sharon when you need her? Oh, I know. I miss her. I yeah. do, too. Yeah. 58. She's in my prayers, too, and her husband and her son, you know. I know. He's, yeah. Oh. Are there any quilters in the audience? Any quilters? 58 by 8 cotton craft fabric bundle patchwork pre-cut quilt squares for DIY sewing. I need to know what I, I don't want to pay too much for these. This is a good price. Any You're, oh, Barb, Barb, Barb Olson is a quilter. Okay, so Barb, 50 <clears throat> really nice colors, all different colors, prints, color coordinated, but they're 8x8 eight eight squares, 50 of them. What would be a good price for them? Tell me, and then I'll tell you what the price is. Welcome back, LMNW. Yes, welcome back. You're a beginning knitter, right? Barb's our only quilter in the in the audience. Where's Fabric Queen when you need her? <laughs> right. I really wonder that Fabric Queen. Like, she really had that quilting stuff that she said. So she was like a quilting troll. Was she really though? Yeah, because where'd she get those pictures from? And she got the mini brand oh. stuff. Come on. Oh, wow. She was a quilting okay. troll. Barb's Kevin, in. that's exactly how I feel. I feel peaceful at oh, night. Oh, you live in Canada. But just, just tell me what you think. Okay, Adventures with Beth says $10 is a good price. So if I had a price of six ninety nine, that would be a very good price for that. They're 8 by 8 They're not fat quarters. 50 of them. You quilt too. See, now quilting would be something I wouldn't mind doing because that would be like with crafts, I guess people do it just to, it makes them feel good or they want a craft and they like stuff, but I just don't know where to put extra stuff. But with a quilt, it would seem less um, senseless or something. I don't know. I'm terrible. I don't mean to be mean, but it's just like I, if I do things like make things where am i going to put them <laughs> i don't know okay yeah that's how i feel i yeah don't put but i do have a lot of craft stuff to do it's just like i don't know i'm not maybe not vote motivated enough to do it too you know i do something i do some uh, baskets for christmas and and give out Given Lisa, Lisa will have a lot of napkins to sell at her rummage sale. Oh no, no, I want no. I'm not selling the napkins. I love them. I I wouldn't mind doing some decoupage, <laughs> but I think that I would probably do it on stuff that I could use, like vases, mm -hmm. things like that. You know. Yeah. Look at Sassy Darcy. Yeah. Oh, I know. And lamps. You could even do it on lamps. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You can do it on a lot of stuff, oh. yeah. That's cool. And you guys, you guys can see me right now, right? We can see yeah. you. Okay, I'm doing. It says my 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 video, and there's a thing. It says touch up my appearance. I'm gonna click that. See if you notice any difference. Okay. Because well, I okay. didn't when I pressed it. There. Does it look any different or no? no. I'll unclick it. I feel like I'm at the eye doctor. Okay, I don't have that on now. Okay. But now no. I'm going to click it. It's going to come on. Not really, no. Yeah, what? That's weird. Oh, well. Is that on Zoom? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, Jackie, it does. It, that's on Zoom, right? Because I don't notice any difference in that either. Yeah, I it's don't. on... 
Zoom, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that is about. I think it's a bunch of malarkey. Just to make so, you think that you look better or something for the moment? Something, I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. Sounds so filter or something. It doesn't, it doesn't look any different. It doesn't, does it, Anna? No, it doesn't. Oh it's my still gosh. beautiful, though. Look how cute. Look at that. Oh my what? gosh. I have to show you this. Let's see. I got to get on YouTube. Look at somebody made with these little quilting squares, these little tiny little tents. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. And this is really cute too. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. It is cute. Oh, I like those. They would be probably easy to make with those fat borders. Yeah. Danielle, I also adjusted it for low light, so maybe that's why it got a little clearer. That's Those are pretty. pretty. So this is what I can get right there, it says, for six ninety nine. So that's a good buy, you would say. Everybody says that's a good buy. Oh, yeah. That's very right. good. That's very cheap. Okay. Very and nice. Oh, like a salt oh. pillow. That's very <clears throat> good. Oh, I love the blue. Ooh. Okay. I love the blue. Or turquoise or mm -hmm. purple. Gold also, I think. Now, what is this you're showing? Uh, the fabric. Oh, it's not for oh, the whole pillow. From where, though? Oh, it's on Amazon. Oh, okay. You don't, nobody's sign. selling it or anything like you. Or... Oh, no, 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 no. no. Not oh, like okay. that. Not like that yet. No. Mm -mm. Okay. No. They're going nuts in chat. They want to know what site is that? Oh, it's on, um, they're on, the coupons are on Vipon. But I, oh, hold on, I'm trying to see, wait, this coupon. Kevin. Like, this coupon, <laughs> wait, hang God, on. God, I love you, Kevin. <laughs> he cracked me up. Right, calm, he just cracked me up. Everybody calm down for a minute. because Definitely. We can't valid. calm down. We love Kevin. I don't know if that's if that code is, is working yet because it doesn't. Let me see. Oh, Barb says fabric on Amazon is not suitable for quilting. It oh, is too wow. thin. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe yeah. that's a good thing. The code doesn't work. It's not suitable for quilting. Danielle, see, what we should say is Kevin is a cutie. <laughs> And go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 28 degrees here, Kevin. Looking at my computer, that's what it says. 28? Yes, can you believe it? It's cold today. Yeah. I am freezing. I've got to see what, yeah, I've got to see what it is here. I had, um, oh, what you call? Uh, it's supposed to get warmer, but uh, what did I have? Carolyn, Barb says it's paper thin. It comes from China. Okay, all right. I didn't oh. get it, Barb. Feel better. Oh, oh, that's, scooter. That's it's twenty eight here too. Is it? Yeah. Well, twenty nine at three, but it's not three yet. What about you, Carolyn? Um, let me see. Twenty eight at three fifteen. Yeah. I'll tell you what it be. is. Let me check. Okay. Wow, I hate it. The kids told me they saw some snow today. Why? Um, yeah, they did. Okay, weather. Uh, weather, weather, weather. Danielle says it's so cold there, too. It's cold here. It's freezing. 26 degrees. 26? Mm. It, it's plus 8 here in Sweden. What is it, Anna? Plus 8 degrees Celsius. wonder what that would be for Fahrenheit. Too early to get this cold. It's going to be 10 today, 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. 
It's going to be that cold, Anna? 25 degrees tomorrow, 28 degrees Saturday, oh. 34 degrees Sunday, 42 degrees Monday, 38 oh. degrees Tuesday, 36, 44. Mm. It's very warm. Now I'm depressed. I know. I, that's why I don't look at weather, because it's very, very depressing. Carolyn, here it says Monday, the, well, Sunday is, Sunday is supposed to be 50. Yeah, Monday is supposed to be 55. Tuesday is supposed to be 55. Why, why are you so cold? No, I'm looking at the evening temperature. Oh, the evening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Thursday, 27. Friday, 26. Yeah, but Saturday, tomorrow, tomorrow's only going to be 46 degrees. In the daytime. Yeah, right. Wow, yeah. we have the same exact weather. 48 degrees on Friday, 50 degrees right. on Saturday, 53 Sunday, 57 yeah. Monday, 56 Tuesday, 54. That'll Wednesday, feel good. 54, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at the weather in Stockholm. It's much warmer here in South. Oh. So, um... It's going to be up to 15 degrees today. Mm. Hi, honey. 15 degrees. That's very warm for November weather. Yeah. Henny said to try on eBay for quilting squares, mommy, or Carolyn. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, honey. I was just looking at this, some of these deals. I do have a, I do have a lot of fabric. Hi, Henny. Hi, Henny. I'm your number one fan, Henny. <laughs> Jackie Burns. Jackie Burns. Whisper to me. I don't know if I said hi to you. I know I said hi to Alicia, my boo. She wrote me a while ago that you didn't. And Lisa's my other boo. Boo boo bear. Ryan Clan is hey, still boo -boo. <laughs> Somebody in chat last night was talking um, that they used to watch Davy and Goliath. I watched that every Sunday morning, and I remember Carolyn when you made a uh, Goliath's voice. <laughs> you yeah. sounded just Davey. like it. <laughs> I have a Davy and Goliath little. I'm in the box set. Yeah, Davy. Yeah. Oh, you sound just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. This drive me crazy. Barb says, Carolyn, see if you can find fabric made by the big manufacturers for quality fabric. Oh, okay. But I, you know, I wasn't looking, I have fabric. I was just, it was just a deal. So I just looked at it. Martha Boo, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she did a shout out to you, Carolyn, showing the napkins on her channel. Oh, you did? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that is sweet. I'll have to check it out. Um, can somebody drop a link? Danielle, can you get a link to Jackie's channel so people can check it out? Oh, California Thunder said, oh my gosh, Davey. <laughs> Look what Kevin said, Lisa. I hear the furnace running in just imagine me. What happened? Blowing out the tin. That one? Yeah. Oh, well, I wish my furnace would work. That would be nice. I'd love to have warmth. Wait, your furnace isn't working? Your furnace isn't working? Oh, no. No. Came down um, in September and um, checked it out. Or Yeah. Yeah. It was in September and uh, it wasn't working. So I called Le uh, Heap and, you know, they had to send me papers and oh they didn't get back to me and then finally they did and they sent them like three weeks ago and she says oh yeah people are, aren't getting them even like right down the road for two weeks or more i'm like isn't that lovely the mail you know it's stupid yeah. so you have no and without a car i can't just go there and make it out and it's done you know i have to they, you can't do it online i don't know i'm gonna call tomorrow and ask them i said this is it i'm getting cold I do have my little heaters and they, they do really work well. And now I've putting I've been putting my oven on uh, broil for like two hours. I know oh that's Oh my horrible. gosh, Lisa, that's really dangerous. Yeah, don't Is do it? that. Yeah, because Why? Put your little heaters on though, your little space heaters. Why is that dangerous? Okay, because Because of the carbon monoxide. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, and you have to have that vented. 
Oh my oh. gosh, yeah, it's very dangerous. And, 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 and beyond that, like, what if that if you fell asleep on that medication and you left it on broil and you had a house? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm up in the kitchen when it's on. I'm right there. But still, it's not yeah. good for you. Yeah, okay. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Or just lay and listen. You don't have to talk. No, it's off now, Danielle. I never leave it on when I'm not right around there at all. Yeah, that's not good. If, any, good if anything, yeah, get like a little, um, another, like another space heater or something, but don't leave your oven on. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we were close by. I could bring you a couple that we have at our cottage that are really nice space heaters that we yeah. used to well, use. Well, I have the I have the fireplace ones. Mm -hmm. That were like about, they were originally a hundred something, but then I got them on sale for like 75 maybe or 70. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I have two of those. They're the beautiful, I love them. They're the glass ones with the uh, fireplace and the, the bricks, but they're not real bricks, obviously. And it's right. a little yeah. heaters. Yeah. No, it's not gas, Jackie Burns. It's electric. The stove in the, you know, it's electric. the oven. Yeah. Oh, they said if it's electric, it's okay. But still, yeah, it's not a gas. Uh, yeah, but still, with the broil, that's high. There's like 500 broil is the highest. Yeah. Well, listen, so aren't the little things. The uh, stoves are 500 or, or they're 1,500 watts. You can have it up to 500 or you can have wherever you want this, on the little stoves that I have, the electric stoves. They go up to 1,500, I believe. Okay, if it's electric stove, then then it's fine. I have a detect carbon monoxide detector and a fire thing, um, you know, detected, mm -hmm. and they're right near the kitchen, so. But please be careful. Yeah. Yeah, I always have one, Kevin Leonard, because you know, more than anything, I was more worried about mom than myself. But yeah, I always had those. Hmm. I don't know, because that's, yeah, I'm just worried about you falling asleep or something. Yeah, no, I wouldn't fall asleep because it's right when I first get up that I put it on when I go out there to have dinner. That's it. That sounds funny. Okay, have dinner when you first get up. That's cute. <laughs> well, I do, because I get up like at 6, 7 o'clock I know, but night. it just sounds funny. Yeah, someone her yeah. and that's my first and last you. meal of the day. <laughs> yeah, if they just came in and heard you, it just sounds funny. It does. It does. Yeah. That's my no, hours. Go yeah. and, and I have dinner. I get up at six at night and I go back to bed about eight in the morning. <laughs> that's my schedule. And I know it's horrible, but that's what it is. And I've accepted it, you know, because I, I always would say, oh, I feel guilty. And <sighs> Are you an American? Oh, horrible. And you're such a sweetheart. What'd she say? <laughs> She said, I could send you a quilt to keep you comfy. Uh -huh. God bless you. Uh, look what Henny I, said, I Lisa. What'd she say? My furnace was just acting up, so I YouTubed it, and it was my flame sensor. It needed cleaning, so I did it myself, and it fixed the problem. Wow. Are you in the States, Lisa? Yeah, I'm in New York. Do, do you have a basement? Oh. Is your furnace in your basement? Lisa. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. But you see, it gets damp, very damp down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't think it's good for probably the furnace and stuff. So mm. oh, um. I have a water collector in my basement. That, a dehumidifier? That, yeah. I have, I have a sun pump in the basement. I have to. The bathtub. Now and then. When's the last time it worked? Oh, when did it work? Um, in the spring. Probably in May. Beginning of May when we left, then we went to the lake. So probably in May. But we did have a flood here and there was water and I'm not sure if it got up there because by the time I got home, you know, I just wondered if maybe the water got to the boiler of the furnace. Hmm. I don't know. And so you couldn't even have somebody come by and look at it? Oh, well, sure I could, but um, I'm, 
he's going to do it through heat because they will pay oh. for it. I just, yeah, this is why. Yeah, that's oh. why I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I don't dare play around with it. I'm nervous with furnaces. I don't dare try to do anything myself. I, I do things to like sinks and I can try to do, figure that stuff if there's something wrong, which after I used Drano a couple days ago, my sink started to leak a little, but I think it's just that they need screwing in tighter. I have to get a wrench and screw the uh, things in. Mm. But I got the clog gone. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah. Must be chilly though. Just with this, I mean, it's cold here. I, I can't imagine. Yeah, that's why I come out to the back rooms because what's out, why I like it out here is because I have two rooms. I have a curtain that kind of a really decorative curtain that closes off one of the, the middle room there where the stairs, we have a back stairs and a front stairs. And um, so these two rooms are, oh gosh, they're not over six something foot tall, the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And in the living room, in the front living room, they're eight or more foot tall. So out here it keeps nice and cozy with just the uh, thing on medium even, this little stove. And then I have my electric blanket that I dearly love. I have two of them, so if one goes out, I have another one. Oh, you have an electric blanket? Okay. Oh, God, yes, I love it. That's what I was going to say, yeah, so at least you've drawn to that. Yeah. But I, I really hope to get it fixed this month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my pipes would burst, so no. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, um, the person who used to fix the furnace said, you have, if you go three consecutive days with below freezing temperatures, your pipes will burst. So that will be happening soon. <laughs> Yeah, that, yes, I know, because Jimmy was wanted to take the uh, power washer to the deck, and then he said it was going to be nice on, I don't know, what when did I say it was going to be, it was going to warm up or something. Hi, Deborah Ferris. want to get um, the deck, because now that oh, everything is so, now that we got everything uh, situated on the deck, and now I can see, like, the deck now and it could, could, could easily just be power washed so fast. But so I'm hoping that we have at least one nice day to finish that. Yeah, I did some outside work. I do every day a little bit, not much, but mm. I go feed the stray cat that's out there, and he gets treats and wet food and dry food. He eats better than me, I think. No, <laughs> but same here. I feed the stray cats. Yeah. Stray. Remember that group, the stray cats. Yes. Yeah. What happened to them? I wonder. I don't know. Were they from like Australia or um, UK? They were from somewhere, right? Yeah, they were. Right, I think so. Yeah, stray cats. Yes, yeah, they were from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that they're from space. somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Can't believe it. Manual. What was that about? Why would anybody want to shake their eggs? What the heck is a manual egg shaker? Is that for real? I have a manual egg. Before. You would really manual egg shaker, egg scrambler, silicone shaker, whisk egg. What? What is this? Look at this thing. What is this? Is this to put your egg in there so it scrambles the <laughs> egg because you can't? Every time she says egg, everyone take a drink. What is that? I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh, they sell so much junk. That is so crazy. Like, who the heck would need that? Why would you need to shake your eggs? Look I at this. I do that about a lot of stuff, you know, like things like that. Who needs what it? Like the cron pops you show. The no, but look how crazy this is. This is nuts. What in the <laughs> world would you need to shake your eggs for? They need it in China. It's made in China. But why would anyone need this? I haven't seen it yet. I don't. I don't oh, even, I see it now. I don't well, even well, understand. You need, to, you need to have it. It's you need to have this. This everybody has this. California Thunder said a minion. It does look like a minion. This is insane. <laughs> I just don't even understand. <laughs> That's a great idea, Kevin. What you you'd use your grandmother's clothes and make a quilt or whatever. Yeah. 
That's great. This is crazy. No, this is the best thing ever. Why is it? Ew, look I'm at joking. this. She's joking. I'm joking. Look at this. Ew, this is so gross. Look, ew, ew. It's a golden. Oh, egg. I don't like eggs, anyways. Really, look I cook at, no, with them. No, or I mean, bake this. with them. But... Wait, stop! It's a golden, hard-boiled egg. It's a golden egg. Sa I hate egg salad so bad. A golden egg <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> oh, gross! 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 Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ew! Oh ew! I'm not seeing anything yucky yet. Maybe I should look. <laughs> Oh, my oh, God. Gross. Oh, no, no, no. Please. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, no. oh, disgusting. What, Leo, look at these Carolyn golden Carolyn loves eggs. devil's eggs. Oh, look at these golden eggs. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to throw up. Oh. I, I, oh. Why are you throwing it? Why are you throwing it? <laughs> what in the world? Has anyone oh, in the God. chat ever heard of this? No. Oh. No. Who in but the that salad looks good, but now I'll, t I'll forfeit the eggs. Who in the chat has heard of that? I just want the lettuce and some some sauce. Or Alicia sauce. said she so has the egg machine. It's an egg machine. Maybe that one that Lisa has, maybe? I don't know. I don't think it's... Uh, no, Lisa has it, makes poached eggs and hard-boiled eggs. But... Never. Oh. I'm here, Alicia. Gross. No, I'm here. I'm just muting for a few minutes. Why would anybody want that? Looks like it's rotten. Gross. Yeah, it is gross. Freaking golden eggs! Come on. I kind of, I kind of hate um. Also, uh, what is it? Chicken of the sea? Whatever, whatever that crap is. Tuna? Uh, oh God! Uh. You're, gonna, you're gonna throw up. Oh my gosh. Oh. Rotten. It's. Oh my gosh. It's bizarre looking. Yes, Chris because it's horrible looking. Who needs that? Who needs that? Yuck. If it's uh, golden like that, it's fruit. It's it. It has been fruited with a with a chicken. The white ones are, have not been fruit, you know. Barb, I'm not a big seafood eater either. I ne We went and they thought it was so great. My great aunt all, you know, treated us to a lobster and I didn't like it. Didn't like lobster. Really? Don't want it. No, no, I like no. Lobster. Sometimes I'll eat, you know, I like fried clams, but I don't even want them now. And I do like scallops if they're breaded with some lemon, but I don't even want that. I don't. I don't like. I, I tell you, I don't really like meat, red meat, or seafood. So, what do you eat mostly? Um, <laughs> probably not enough protein because I like. Well, maybe I do. I like um, Italian food mostly and Mexican, like you know, different Mexican tacos and whatever it is. And. Um, Lasagna, spaghetti. I do like but um, lasagna, but you don't put any meat in it, right? No, it's cheese lasagna. Okay, you don't eat meatballs. No, no, no. I do eat the ones that are you think they're like meatballs, but they're made with bread or whatever. You you know, you can make them like vegetarian meatballs or whatever. I've never heard of that. Well, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard. I love of that. Eggs, I'm not fond of. I do have scrambled eggs, but it's usually just like maybe on Easter or Christmas, Christmas morning. I, it's same with bacon. I, I really like it sometimes, but it, I can't stand the heartburn. Can't stand the way it makes me feel. Hmm. Same with ham. Can't do it. What about turkey? You don't eat turkey either? Yes, I do like turkey. I do like that. Not all the time, but I do. I do like it. I like it at you know holidays, and sometimes I'll get one of those rotisserie chickens. But yeah, I'm not into the red meat so much. But I do like chili with, you know, a really good hamburger. I have to get the expensive one, or I don't want it. I don't like the cheap stuff. Hmm. 
I have been living on candy for a long time. <laughs> You've been living yeah, on candy? Yeah, you sound like me, Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not good, living on candy. No, I don't live on it, but I, I, I've been trick or treat. I'm losing weight. I'm losing weight a lot. Wow. I know, a but that, that doesn't mean anything. Living on candy is not good, though. I haven't had the energy to cook. I'm oh, I have been so exhausted. I when when the hunger pain is so bad, I I grab some candy to it. I haven't had the energy to cook. What about fruit or vegetables? You don't like any of that. Uh, but I do take multivitamins. But no fruit or vegetables. No. Huh. Yeah, California is under high quality meat only. Otherwise, I don't even want it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I rarely eat steak. If I did, it would have to be, you know, have to be well done. I can't stand any pink or red in my meat. Really? None. None. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know what LMNW, it's probably their initials. I don't know what it stands for. Maybe you know, I don't. What? Brent asked me what LMNW oh, stands Oh, Lifetime for. Movie Network, I think it is. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. I'm totally serious. The, the person's name in chat is that's what it means. Lifetime, yeah, Lifetime Movie Network. Oh, wow. Yeah. LMW said me either. It must be dead. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, the meat must be dead. <laughs> I love cheese, Scooby. Scooby, don't. Scooby, don't. <laughs> How come you lose weight when you eat candy? Well, it's not nutrition, nutritious or whatever. I don't know. But it's a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, I have no idea. I certainly don't. I gain. Yeah. I feel like candy because now you're making me feel like candy. I don't know. I've been in bones a few years ago. I was just a skeleton. You were a skeleton? I was, for a few years ago, I was two I was very underweight I didn't see it myself right um, everybody said that got shocked when they saw m my picture mm -hmm. like what the heck yeah I, I didn't even see it myself I I was shopping for a dress and and the woman, I was in Chicago, and the woman said, you have to go to the children's section. Mm -hmm. And my cousin got so mad. Why? Because the, the woman working there said, I have to uh, go to the children's um, Right, the sizing. children's section, yeah. But why'd she get so mad, though? He. Oh, why did he... Was, why did he get he, he, so mad? He is always offended. He he was a prosecutor. He's a judge now, and he he is always offended by people. She wasn't very pleasant either. She was not nice. Hmm. Before she said that, she was looking me up and down and like, huh, you find, don't find any clothes here. You have to go to the children's section. Well, I mean, I, okay. what could she do? I mean, she, I, I don't think she was saying it to be mean, right? She was like trying well, to help I mean, you. She was, it was not that she was, she was um, before that she was, um, rude? Yeah, she was very rude, like n nasty, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. 
Because I know they're, um, the, um, the little people have to shop in the, um, the yes. you know, roll offs. She has to shop I, I, right. I'm, in the I'm, I'm, quite, I'm not pleased. I'm very tall. So if I were to buy in the children's section, it would, a dress would be a top. Hmm. A, a short top. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why she would say. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. But sorry, Deborah Ferris. Yes, we're here. Love you. What happened to Deborah? Sorry, Deborah. She had awful nightmares. Oh, you had terrible nightmares, Deborah. Oh gosh. Um... Yeah, L M N W said it was his initials. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. No, she used to tell me it was Lifetime Movie Network. She said it was her initials. Light, lifetime movie. <laughs> oh, Ellen and W, don't say that in Scooter. What? Oh, I can because I'm picturing a steak with blood dripping. Come on. Oh, I thought. Oh gosh, Ellen W, and I really thought it was Lifetime. Right, come on, are you oh. kidding? Because I thought it was Lifetime Movie Network for women. 50, what's the W for? You told me before, you said, yeah, it's Lifetime Movie Network for women, 50. And Scooter's never flown before either. No, but I, I know that she told me <laughs> that. I know that she told me that. She said, no, 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 LMNW, my initials with hands up. Oh, no, I, I know that you, t I'm gonna go back on that live. I wish we had people that- oh, dear. I wish we had people that could just bam get it right away. Mm -hmm. I believe you did because we were like, "Oh, is that for Lifetime Movie Network?" And you're like, "Yes, I love Lifetime Movie." <laughs> you maybe your dreams, maybe you're dreaming these things. And you think they're reality? Huh. Yeah, not. It's L. Yeah, Lifetime Movie Network for women. No, because lifetime is just one word. Lifetimes. L, movie network for women. LMN. Yeah. Yeah. Lifetime movie network. That's called LMN. There. See? She said her whole name out because you forced her to. Where? Uh -oh. I've her. But what's the W for then? Probably their last name and they don't want to tell. Come on now. Oh, okay. Well, she's got two middle names. All right. <laughs> but I could swear, oh, Linda, I want to call Linda Scooter. <laughs> I need a friend. Linda. Um, Linda. Nighttime <laughs> Movie Network. <laughs> Because I mean, Scooter all this, the they can crawl up. <laughs> all this time, I have thought, <laughs> unless someone cloned her and was faking. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, because it was early on when she came in, but I could swear she said oh. it was Lifetime Movie Network. <laughs> Hi, Bunny Darling. We'll be on this for the next hour if you need to take a break. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't. I'm always going to think it's she's, Lifetime Movie She's Network. looking right now for that, that chat where you said... You were. I'm always going to say it was um, Lifetime Movie Network in my own head. <laughs> oh, I can't. Well, I'm going to still think it. Is that all right if I just think it? E. F. Hutton sure. Grace, e. F. Hutton Grace if it makes you feel better, you keep thinking that, okay? Yeah, E.F. Hutton Grayson, did you change your name? Because yesterday you came, somebody came in with just the name Grayson. And I thought it was you. Did you change your name? <laughs> At least. Oh, Lord. I don't know what is that about, friend. Um, buddy Darling, have a good day, Bunny Darling. Brent started this? How? I don't know that. Cause... Oh, right, because he was asking what was it standing for, right? 
Lots of ultra... Oh, there's always trolls, but they're not always smart at all. They're very rarely smart. It's always easy to trap them. But I always pretend that they're fooling me, but they don't. Oh, that's right, Kevin. Thank you for the reminder. You'll have to keep reminding me, probably. Confirmation <laughs> name, gotcha. But it's okay that I just think of it as LMW, Lifetime Movie Network for Women. Brent, you got it. You're good. I'm just going to think of it for that. You're not going to know what I'm thinking. Probably not unless you're a mind reader. And if you were, then you would have known a long time ago. No, have stayed that name all along on my... I think that's why I, I really love this channel and you because... My mom would always say, please stop talking about it. And I would go on and on when something bothered me. <laughs> I think that's why I get along with you so well. <laughs> so much alike. But I laugh when other people do it because I, you know, I can tell that I, I did said, that in my life. She said that's fine and I can do it. Good. That's nice. Besides, you remind me so much of me. Really, Anna? Yes. Oh, wow. I love it. I I was like that. My mother said, let it go. Let it go. Right. Yes, exactly. I can't, I can't let it go. I continue and continue and make everybody frustrated. Yes, exactly. Like Me you, too. You I sound like you must that. have been a ball to be around, Anna. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh! I I guess Jimmy I, I Jimmy can Jimmy can get I like can. that too. I like he just go over and over and over something until I do ad, too. Ad nauseum, you know. I'm just like it's okay. It's enough. It's enough. And I even but get tired of hearing it out of my own mouth. You know? Same here. My son yeah. said, "Mommy, you have said the same story hundred times. Can you please let it go, Mommy?" Can you please stop? I've heard it a hundred times. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I will write it in my journal, just in case you forget. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Julie. What's all going on with the Wells case, Julie? What's all going on with that? Something about the stairs or something? They redid the stairs. New Orleans. You love the sarcasm. I've gotten in trouble a few times because of your Really? Oh my goodness. Did they drop the link for your channel so they can watch your video, J Jackie? Were they, were they able to find your channel? I'm going to have to look at that later. Um, I can't believe it's... What time is it? 3.37. Do you realize how fast November's already going? It's already the 4th? Oh, I know. Stop saying that. I know. It's anxiety time. It is anxiety time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Women fighting over him? Really? Oh, 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 who know, oh, who knows the most, not who loves him the most. No. Okay. All right. Women at creators or women he knows? Do, 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 do. My rings all feel like they're falling off my fingers. What's going on here? Are you? I blame my stroke for. I blame my stroke for telling my son the same stories about him when he was younger. Uh, yesterday, when he ca called me, I was talking about something that happened when he was in a daycare, kindergarten. Oh, and he said, Mom, I've heard that story so many times. 
Is that on Anna. his? Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you, I'm sorry. I just saw her put something up there. It was crazy. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, he he, he called me and I was talking about the story. Yeah, that you told him and he tells him and you tells you you tell him the same story said, over and yeah. over. Yeah, he said I heard it so many times, Mama. Mm. And I yeah. said, Oh my. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know what I said and not said because of my stroke. I have memory yeah, loss. Yeah, but that, uh, okay, yeah. well then that's a reason, yeah. yeah. I know, Kevin, I don't know how it got to be Thursday and almost Friday already. I just don't. I don't know either. Um, no. What am I going to say? I said uh, Friday. Was that, is that on his channel, Julie? It, no, it's Thursday. Is that on his channel? I've never seen his channel. I've never watched it. What does roll call me? I don't know. I just I I couldn't get wrapped up in that case after, after, women talking on the phone. But is it on his? No, you could send it to me in an email. Okay, or or yeah, but um. I just hi Sammy. hi Sammy. I just can't like prayers for you. Yeah, and after love. they're not like talking and they're not. I just I couldn't. I didn't could get involved in all that other extraneous. I don't know. It's sad, but I have like no no interest in that part of it at all. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I'm not interested either, Barbara Carolyn. No. Yeah. He's just a fool, I think, you know, and I don't know. I, it about just it. seems like a bunch of um, media cra crap. Craziness. It's like, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's not doing anything for summer, that's for sure. No, no. You know, it seems everybody's forgotten about summer. I think about her every day. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be like another John Bonet case. I don't. Yeah, think we're going to find. It. I don't know. Or maybe like a lot, a year or two from now, or something. I don't know. No, I haven't e either, Kevin. I just know, you know, the basics. I don't know much about it too much, really. Mm. Yeah. See, I, uh, I don't know. It's like people love to, I don't know, just beat a dead horse to, you know, go crazy stuff. I don't know, where did Scooter go on us? Oh, that's right. Scooter, we're home. I'm here. Okay. He's mute. Oh, there, she's back. <laughs> oh. oh, here's that flower. Oh. Did... I'm, gonna, I'm starting another one right now. It's Oh, cool. Um, I forget what it's called. I'll have to tell you guys. Wait, Deborah oh, wondered if you got her email just hold about it. Cleo. Uh, let me see. Just hold it steady. Wait. This one's it. a poppy, I think. The lady said. Oh wow! Oh, wow, but you 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 can hold it steady for. Do you, you like it or no? Yeah, I like. I it. do. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, do you like it, Carolyn? I like it. Um, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. But everybody's, <laughs> ta everybody's talking at once to me. So how, Sorry, guys. Let me see. She's not going to Garnet got you this yet. and chewed on it. Her <gasps> little um, oh. teeth prints are in this part. Oh, dear. I was wondering where this went. Oh. And she had it. Lexi had it in the living room. Oh, Thank wow. you, Dania. Son, bunny, darling. Yeah, that's pretty. Thank Deb, you. I mean, Cleo, was it a long time ago you sent it? No, she just sent it. Okay. You know, this morning maybe, I think she said. Thanks, Captain Lee. Captain Lee. Captain Lee. Yeah, you mailed this morning. Yeah, what, there are red poppies, obviously, but what is it exactly? Let me this see. lady did it in this color, so I just did the same. Thank you, Deb. Bruh, Vancouver, Deb. 
Oh, my watch is playing the lullaby. It's 3.33. It was 3.33. Thank you, guys. That's what I was yeah. waiting. Yeah, 3.33. And then you guys all maybe miss it. Linda Gelb emailed. All right, hang on. Because I've got to... Let me see here. No, adoption parents are involved. Thank you, Alicia. Done. What? I'm going to mute again while I... Look at this video for my other flower. Okay. Okay. All right, let me see here. Um, Deborah Vancouver, Den. Deborah Vancouver, Den. How far long ago was this? Thank you, Kevin. Do you know what time it was, Deborah Vancouver, Den? I'm sorry, I'm a bit of delay. I'm sorry if I talk over you. Then me. Deborah Vancouver, Den, what time was it? She, uh, she said, said this morning. morning. That's what Danielle just said. Is it something that I didn't cover? Something on or Cleo. Do, 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 do. Jackie Bird's creation in the U.S. here in New York, when we would have parades, I think it was Veterans Day maybe, um, I remember the little red poppies, but weren't they like from some organization like the Red Cross or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, the Veterans, um, the Memorial, the veterans Day, Memorial, yeah. Yeah, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found one too in my mom's drawer. Yeah. Thank you, Deborah Ferris and anybody else that said that. Thank you. Now I gotta get my measurements for this newest flower. So I'm, I have it on my phone. I'm not seeing it in all the old familiar places. Yeah, and Nana Patty, I just got your email about that Tulsa one. I covered that last night. Possible serial kill. The mother, the the mother, the son, and the friend. The friend found is a homicide and they're all in the horse show circuit. Yeah, covered that last night. Do and uh, yeah, the American Legion. I yeah. don't know where. Hold on. Deborah, um, I'm not seeing it, Deborah Van Cooperden. Uh, I have something from Help Me Rhonda, but I don't have. I don't. I don't see anything from you. But I didn't, did I cover it all? I thought I did. Let me look at that other thing. That... Okay, so this is up to the minute, and it it says it hasn't had it anything. Again. It hasn't. He sent had it anything. again, Carolyn. Okay. <clears throat> You won't believe this now, Lisa H. You know, you were talking about personality types. Yes. Well, oh, this is my luck here. This pops up in my news section, okay? The news, whatever. Uh-huh. Right, so didn't mind um, for Yahoo. I don't know what your No, no. Is. listen to this, though. Okay. This is the title. Scientist pinpoint personality traits. <laughs> That increase risk of 
um, Alzheimer's. What? What did, you just, what did you just say? What? Yeah, scientists pinpoint personality traits yeah. that increase, increase the risk of Alzheimer's. Oh. And you know what they are? What? No, what? Uh, Anxiety. Um, conscientiousness, agreeableness, uh, neuroticism, openness, extraversion or extroversion. Yeah, that's uh, what they're saying. Those it says more likely to get Alzheimer's. Okay, how much oh, more likely? likely. Uh -huh. how, much, how much more likely? Okay, well, it says... Uh, I just saw that part. Hold on. <clears throat> so I guess we have to be a rotten B.I. to, to live longer and be well-minded. Yeah. Yeah. That's idiotic. Come on. Then. Darn, it just scared the heck out of me. Um, it says that... Uh, now my phone is stopping. See, uh, there, there's your neuroticism coming out. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the results of the study showed that one personality type um, neuroticism was shown to have an increased risk of protein buildup. That sounds like Goss, then. You have the same personality traits? Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, about 70. You're 70% more likely? Uh, there is no cure. I'm a Leo. Disease. I'm a Leo, Deborah, and Kevin. Uh, Alzheimer's is the most common form, about 75% of dementia cases. Uh... Let's see if they're going to give an actual. Garnet, will you please stop? Um, uh, I'm trying to get to it. We know what dementia is. Come on. How much of a percentage does it mean? Uh, It says, but it could also be that personalities and behaviors trigger inflammation, which is associated with Alzheimer's. Um, if you have a healthy lifestyle, it helps to prevent dementia. It doesn't give an actual percentage. The traits like neuroticism shape our emotional life, the way we cope with stress and deal with our feelings. Conscientiousness is defined by our level of grit, persistence, and planful attitudes. Uh, so oh, they you say took the same can, test, Scooter? Uh -huh. Did you take the same test? No, I didn't take a test. This just popped up saying if you have those five things, oh, you I don't see. have to okay. get it. But it says you can reduce it, of course, by eating a healthy, balanced diet. Maintaining a healthy weight, exercising, uh, keeping alcohol within recommended limits, stop smoking, keep your blood pressure at a healthy level. You know, all the same things we're supposed to be doing. So yeah. it's just one more thing to make us get yeah. worried, you know. And then they tell mm -hmm. you, don't worry. Okay. Right. Here, yeah. Susan, you're right. The scientists will change their minds in a year. They always do. All right. Yep. This, this is what Deborah Vancouver did said. It's an ordinary looking house on an ordinary street. Just a few minutes walk from the center of the coastal town of Carnivorn. I can never say this thing. It said, <laughs> to me, it sounds like Canarsie. And so they, when they say they Carnarsie, Car 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 but I can't, I can't. I can hear it, and then I say, oh, that's the way they say it. But I, I've said it, Carnivon, it's C-A-R-N-A-R-V-O-N. Carnarvon. How, can, but they Ooh, say, carnivar? But they carnivar? say it like Canarsie. Carnarsie. Yeah. That's something, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't get it. I just want to call it that sea town 
Okay, and it's a good thing that I don't live there. 900 hot and dusty kilometers from Perth. But now it is far from ordinary. The now heavily guarded, guarded but modest dwelling has become the focus of one of the biggest police investigations Western Australia has ever seen. It's the house where the missing four-year-old Cleo Smith was found. It's just three kilometers from Cleo's family home. At precisely 12.46 a.m. on Wednesday, police forced their way into the locked house that is surrounded by red dirt that is so ubiquitous in the region. Inside, they made the longed-for discovery many feared would never eventuate. And let's see, this is little Cleo Smith in a bedroom of her own, alive and apparently well. An officer scooped up the little girl in his arms while another asked her name. My name is Cleo, she said. The house is in the working-class suburb of Brockman, is near where the... Gascoigne River meets the Indian Ocean and just under one kilometer from the town's main street. It's also a short drive from Cleo's own home, the house where she and her mom, Ellie, stepdad Jake Glidens, and baby sister Isla live. And then it says, um, hold on, let me get this picture up here. Uh, okay. That's the house where Cleo Smith has been found, has been taped off by the police. It's been more than two weeks since the young family of four packed their gear on a Friday afternoon and drove out an hour north to the area known uh, by locals as the Sea Towns Playground, the Blowholes Campground at Quoba Station. Arriving as it is, it began to get dark. The family pitched their tent and settled in for the night. Cleo woke up at 1.30 asking for a drink of water which her mother gave her and settled her back to sleep. However, when baby Isla woke up at 6 a.m., Cleo and her red sleeping bag were nowhere to be found. Carnivorn is, oh, there I go again, trying to, is a town of 5,500 residents, and it's a tight-knit one. Despite that, the man who lives in the house where the four-year-old was found is now in police custody, was not known to her family. Uh, let's see here. Open this image, there you go. Okay, police had described the search for the preschooler as looking like a needle, looking for a needle in a haystack. And they had focused on the remote campgrounds from where she was taken. Yet in the end, she was found just three kilometers from her own family's home. Found alone when police smashed their way in, Cleo had been locked into the two bedroom, one bed bathroom property that looks like most other homes in that town. It's surrounded by a color bond fence that's 1.5 meters high and the property documents suggest it's owned by the state government housing authority, Holmes West. Little is known about the occupant, occupant other than he's 36 years old and he appears to have been living there alone. Neighbor Rebecca Ryan, who has lived in the neighborhood for 17 years, said the man often seems to be in a hurry. I see him every day driving his car like he's in a rush, like he's paranoid, she said. Um, other neighbors have said he was seen buying nappies, which are diapers, which raised questions for them. Whether it was that information or something else that led police to the door of the unremarkable house has yet to be revealed. For now, it is surrounded by police tape and an ever-growing pack of media. And let's see. It says, Cleo spent last night cuddling her family. Uh, let's see here. Um. Okay. 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 Get that. Cleo Smith was seen in public with her family for the first time as she was res rescued from a house in Sea Town in the early hours of Wednesday morning. The four year old could be seen beaming as she emerged from a her home in the arms of her mother, Ellie, she was dressed in a floral party dress and clutched a pink balloon. Together with stepfather Jake Glidden, the family was accompanied by detectives as they came out of the house before driving off in a four-wheel drive vehicle. Police followed them in cars. The family did not comment to waiting media. Specialist child interviewer flown in for Cleo. They were, they were escorted to a police, by police to a nondescript building near the center of Carnivore. Detective Superintendent Ron Wild said a child specialist interviewer has been brought up from Perth. He said Cleo's welfare would be their primary concern. It will take as long as it takes. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. 
So we're very careful, we're mindful about her welfare when we undertake these interviews. Earlier, police revealed that Cleo and her family had been cuddling all night and they spent their first evening together since the four-year-old's rescue. Cleo was found in the early morning. Okay, we already heard all that. I think Cleo's parents had a small amount of hope, but I thought, I think they thought they'd never see her or give her a cuddle again, he said. I'm pretty sure they all slept in the same room just cuddling all night, and I think that's just such a wonderful story. Okay, police to ask Cleo about 18 days in the house. The acting commissioner, Blanche, has offered details about how police would handle interviewing Cleo, given her age. The most important thing is that we will be talking to her. We have to do it carefully. We have professional child interviewing experts, and we'll try to get her information out about those 18 days. That's really hard, slow process, and it's okay if she doesn't want to tell us. Such a small child taken away from mom and dad, 18 days in a stranger's house. You can only imagine what might have gone on, what kind of trauma she will have out of that, and I hope she can recover. Cleo's um, biological father, Daniel Staines, has previously declined to speak to media, but provided a written statement saying, we are all absolutely overjoyed at the good news this morning and so happy that Cleo has been reunited with her mom and dad. Thank you to everyone who helped look for her and bring her home, particularly the West Australian police, SES, and the Seatown community. We hope that Ellie and Jake and the family are now given privacy and respect that they deserve. Mr. Stain says he gave the family his best wishes. So I guess he must not have much to do with her because he called them their mom and dad and they and didn't send them. Wow, well, that's weird. Okay, acting commissioner revealed all four officers forced their way into the house for all fathers they might have been wearing guns and suits but they were all fathers they've been looking at cleo's face for 18 days 24 7 everyone knows how they would have felt okay and um yeah that's all there is right now looks like okay Brent, i almost started laughing and it's not appropriate right now for me to laugh He said Nightbot needs to pass away. Oh, no. That's terrible. It is, but it, it just cracked me up. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Nightbot is a... We love Nightbot. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> I just... I can feel his pain sometimes when you're being said something and you don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> Nightbot. That's not... That's so terrible. Oh, boy. That's really terrible. I'm just glad she's home if, you know, I am she, too. Totally may, she may have mental issues, but hopefully she can, you know, get some help for that and should be okay. That's terrible. But, uh, well, do you know that you guys that have an iPhone, you can listen into conversations happening 15 minutes away. How? Um, it's a sneaky feature. It says it has a setting so you can listen to conversations happening 15 minutes away. Are you an for real? Shared, Are you yeah. for real? Oh, well, I'm reading this. It says an actress shared her surprise after discovering Apple's listen live feature on her phone and said, so basically, we're all spies now. The Listen Live feature is actually designed as a hearing aid tool and can be added to your iPhone shortcuts. The website explains Live Listen can help you hear a conversation in a noisy room or hear someone speaking across the room. With Live Listen, your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch becomes a remote microphone that sends sound to your made for iPhone hearing aid. If you're if you are meters away from your phone, you can still listen to the sound via wireless headphones or hearing devices. Oh, but you've got to leave the phone somewhere. Depending on the range. Yeah, it says to activate, go to settings and then accessibility and then select hearing device 
then tap the name of your hearing device under MFI hearing devices. Next, tap start live listen. You should place the device in front of the person you want to hear and then tap end the live listen when you're done. Elizabeth showed how she had added the shortcut to her phone with the feature having an icon of an ear. While the feature is designed to help those who are, who are hearing impaired TikTok users were quick to joke it could be used as a spying tool. Um, TikTok users, I find that the most unscrupulous. Oh, okay. So maybe it's probably all. Yeah. Okay. See, and they tricked me into reading that thinking it was yeah. really something. Okay. They Never knew that. mind. Yeah. Big well, meanies. I'm going to go to bed because I have to get, um, I have to go out with Jimmy tomorrow. Lisa H. Okay, guys. But everybody. What do you have to get? He wants to take me a look at that truck tomorrow. Oh. Oh, that truck. Is he going in the morning? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> Lisa. Listen, Lisa and Naya Chase. My mom has Apple phone app, Apple phone app, and hearing aids, and still here is not. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, everybody. Oh, good my goodness. Good okay. Prayers to everybody in the chat. And thank you, the moderator. Good night, Thank you. Good, good night, Carolyn. Good night, everyone in the chat. Love and prayers. I love you guys. Night, Scooter. Right, bye.